The views expressed on this Turnbuckle Tabloid live stream or Turnbuckle Tabloid podcast episode do not reflect the views, thoughts, or opinions of the RageWorks brand, including the RageWorks podcast network, RageWorks content partners, advertisers, and affiliates. Viewer and listener discretion is advised. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay, the Red Santee, and just want to let you know that Yes, Olski and I have finally caved in. We've got us up a Patreon. Yes, Turnbuckle Tabloid has a Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Turnbuckle Tabloid. We've done it. We said, fuck it. If you guys want to be a part of the show a little bit deeper, more in, more in depth, in, in, intense, uh, get more involved in the behind the scenes and be a part of the show in a more intimate and sensuous ways. Why not pay for it? Go to Turnbuckle Tabloid's Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Turnbuckle Tabloid. You guys can be a part of it. Check out the tiers. Things that might be able to fit your needs when it comes to us here at Turnbuckle Tabloid. So guys, please help us out here. It helps us to build the product, better audio, better apps, better programs, and of course, helps us to build us to be a better podcast, although we're awesome as is but still regardless your 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 contribution your contributions your shillings your 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 bits of change could help us to grow here at turnbuckle tabloid so once again patreon.com forward slash turnbuckle tabloid be a part of the extravaganza and the ridiculous and buffoonery that is turnbuckle tabloid join us on social media and as well as all the podcasting outlets and as always enjoy the show This is Mel the Blind Fury, formerly known as Mel Sanchez, and you're listening to the Turnbuckle Tabloid. Turnbuckle Tabloid. Three, two, one. It's the Thanksgiving episode of Turnbuckle Tabloid. The gang's all here. I'm so, I'm so thankful. We're all <laughs> time to deck the halls and mook the halls, ladies and gentlemen. And the holidays are here. Oh, he's festive with the lights and everything. Go, Olski. Oh, you know what? <laughs> get my, get my, get my, I'm getting them, get setting the mood right. Yo. You know what I'm saying? For, for me to be lonely. Do I have to do the same thing too? Oh, do you have let's it? Let's see. The lights red. Let's let's see. Let's see. It. Let's see you. Let's see you getting your. Oh, there we go. Hey, yo, My... let's go. Check this out. Raw Ma... versus SmackDown. <laughs> yo, facts though. It's the SmackDown versus Raw fucking uh, roster on 07 on PS2. Check this out, right? My boy, my boy at work. He was overhearing one of our coworkers, this chick, right? He, he can't stand her anyway, but he was overhearing her having a oh. conversation about. Like the lights that you have, guys have in your room, like that mood light setting. So she's Hell like, yeah. "Yeah, I went and got it, and I did put hooked up." <laughs> so he goes, "Nobody." Wrong <laughs> show. No. My boy goes, "Nobody wants to hear about your puta lights." <laughs> yeah, they violate. So, so from he, so from here on now, That's those foul. lights, those track lights, are now known as. Puta lights My to me. Puta lights. Has I'm them okay in her with room. that. Could you not? No. But she's not a. She's not that. She's not one of those. <laughs> Also- no, no, <laughs> no way. That- They're also my Christmas decorations. They're all- <laughs> it's only for older women and guys. <laughs> it's all that's for. And guys, that's listen, man. I'm I got, I got, I got to set the mood for when, me being lonely. You know what I'm saying? I, you're right. You're right. You know, you're absolutely you know, right. TMI. You're just doing so much right. I got to set the mood for when I'm lonely. Os- okay. Oski, you're never alone if you got your right hand. Remember that. Like, and I guess I've right. never been alone. <laughs> Yeah, no. right. But Alexa, I guess I've turn, always been. I, I guess I've always been uh, compatible. All right. Turn, well, there turn you go. the lights to beat it theme. Turn off the lights. Yeah, I gotta like make. I gotta make a shortcut Light for different, uh, different, different things. I'd be hilarious. Imagine, it's like shortcuts to different things you do during the day. Uh, <laughs> it's like beat it mode. Oh wow! Uh, the Thanksgiving episode of Turnbuckle Tabloid with friends, family, and loved ones. Yes, as, although we're nothing but fart and. You know, penis jokes here. We still bring the love to Turnbuckle Tabloid. I'm here surrounded by family, friends, and loved ones, as I mentioned earlier. We have 
the king himself, John Rondo, in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Hold the applause. <laughs> My loyal subjects. And of the course, king is back. <laughs> Rondo! I, I believe I could say by now because she's been sticking around for the show for so long and who knows why she tolerates listening to it every week. The first lady of Turnbuckle Tabloid herself, Little Bit, is in the, in the studio. Yeah. All right, let's go. And of course, Oski's not here because he got COVID. Yeah. Um, and, and, throw, throw it, throw it, throw it out there, ladies and, and gentlemen. Chlamydia. Yeah. He has COVID and chlamydia. How'd you get both at the same it, time, sir? It, because it, I because it's pronounced chlamydia. Is it pronounced what? Chlamydia. 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 Uh, because I had a, because uh, you know I got AIDS. Like they gave me the other ones. <laughs> no. Wait. Wait, do you really he have COVID? He put up his lights and they came straight with an STD. <laughs> do I have COVID? Um, you'll find out in the next episode of General Hospital. <laughs> oh! Mm, dun, dun, dun. Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I have a... On the next episode of Wyckoff MD. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> no, Dr. Deadass. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Deadass. <laughs> Yo, bring Dr. Deadass back. <laughs> Dr. Deadass. Bring... Yeah, yeah. Oh, whatever Oski, happened to Oski Dr. Deadass? Wait, I'm going to die Jamaica for real, Deadass. What are we talking about? What was that? Olski would have been brought straight to Jamaica, and they just would have diagnosed him as dead. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, uh, breathing, wait, no. wait, I'm gonna die? I'm gonna really gonna die? Dead ass. No, no, you're dead. Dead ass. Dead you're ass. dead. dead ass. No, Oski, tell them right. why you're well, tell him why you're home right now. Uh well, um I have an event tonight at eight o'clock called Pops Giving on my Funko page. <laughs> uh <laughs> terrible name. Terrible name, but you know, uh I had to throw a random one in there. It's uh sales, giveaways, music. It's gonna be a fun time. Turkey uh, pop? Just... Is it like a pop shape like a turkey? It's that yes. should be one. Is there a Monica um, pop where she's wearing the turkey on her head? Yes, like, there is. Yes, there, there is. There is one. Yeah, there is one. You I want? See, I'm not down. I, yeah, yeah. I don't have that. No, I don't want it. Stop it. <laughs> is there, that is a pop. That is a pop. Uh, but uh, is tonight, there already tonight, a is there already a cheap pop Funko? Like, is there already a cheap pop Funko page? The been. cheap pop, cheap pop Funko page. Cheap that would that would have been good. That would have been good. That would have been a good listen, name I'm for doing it. Cheap pop. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Um. I'm doing a five dollar claims tonight, like some sales. So it's gonna be a fun time. I just, I just uh, wanted to do, to do something with the community for a oh little God, bit, and uh, that's hey. the uh, that's the event tonight. So that's why I'm not home. I'm not in the studio right now because at eight o'clock I will be hosting in another event. So I'm going back to back. Ooh. Olski's Olski's non-COVID having stuff will be back in studio really soon. So you guys can check him out when he walks back in. Yeah, yes, I'll be back. Have... I'll be back tomorrow. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I but uh. Oh, we're not doing the suspense and disbelief thing where no, we don't tell no. everybody that. Nah, we're... fuck them. Do, do you not know what show you're on? Do you not know what, what podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, fuck it. Um, when when but... SmackDown was taped on Tuesday and shown on Thursday, we're not doing that? No, okay, no. But I do have to tell you guys, and, I, and this is a compliment to you guys, and it kind of is not to us because it shows how much fucking audience that we do have. You guys, when, when Little Bit and Rondo come to visit us on, on the on the podcast on the podcast you guys are actually the highest downloaded and streamed shows when you guys are on so it's, it's wow, good I did the wow. research look at you guys you market, guys are loved market research shows that they like the bearded one and the the, the lady aspect of wrestling on the show so uh, strong J to well. you guys strong J strong J and, and I, I also heard I also heard you're missing someone I heard it's the triple threat I heard it's Rondo I heard it's when Little Bit is on the show and I also heard it's when Ben is naked on the show well, oh, it's, it's yeah, always when Ben is naked on the show it's always well, when and Ben is naked and eating. And eating. Yeah, he has to be eating something. Shout out to That's ben. the only time I ever want to show up. <laughs> I mean, one. seriously. So this week, um, like I said, we had th- we had Thanksgiving. We 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 all stuffed ourselves. We had our, our fillings. We had our hell yeah. Our, our libations. We had as if we're still not doing this. They may be on a diet, but I'm a fat fuck. I'm still eating. That's okay. <laughs> nope. I, I I I had no limits yesterday. I had cannolis. I had <laughs> no. I had the whole nine yesterday. I don't give a. Right. Yeah, I was about to say since we got two of these skinny bitches on the show uh, this week. Um, no. Um, like I'm not there every uh, week. What did you guys sure. do? Did you guys eat air or did I you, ate did one you act wedge. like you were having Thanksgiving and you were just like miming I, food? So, and, like what were you? It's what like were Emily had, once. Like I, I had a piece of cheese. Of a, I, I thought, thought I was going to faint. <laughs> did you? What, what, did, were you guys like on the um, lane? Uh, like the lane opposite Fat Brian fucking diet? Like what did you yeah. do? Did yeah, you I flip it? I, I didn't give a fuck. I did lines of water. <laughs> that's a new thing. Lines, lines, of, lines water. of water. Was it flavored water? Did you at least provide... did you no, treat no, yourself no, with flavored regular, water? Oh, okay. Regular New York City tap water. Drink the Bev. I heard it goes into your system faster. Oh, okay. 
Nah, mm-hmm. listen, man, Rondo. I don't know about you, but like I dogged yesterday. I had. I, I cheated ate. yesterday too. It was I the. It's the holiday, yesterday. man. Listen, I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, cont- contain myself to a lettuce wedge on Thanksgiving. I mean, I gotta. I gotta enjoy Plus, myself. Plus, my mom makes. My mom makes rice with chicharrones, so you know. Like, I gotta yeah, my white ass had just turkey and the normal trimmings, uh, <laughs> but I want. I, I want the bani. I want the mac and cheese. Oh, I want the uh, light. Yo, boy. you're hanging out with the wrong white people because we had mad shit. Well, yeah. your house is blended. Yeah, don't shush, 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 shush. Yeah. Yeah. My, my house is not blended. My, my house is. Pale. <laughs> Your house is pale. Yeah, Matt, Maddie's like generic white guy number one. No, literally, my <laughs> my that... house my house is literally like the the house that's made fun of on TikTok for their terrible size. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about how white um Matt is right now. What time did you eat dinner? I Tell me like three. At... Um, five, four, oh, okay. five. Like nah, five. you weren't no, that, you're not that white because, you know, we ate at like three yeah. o'clock. No. If you're white, if you're white, you have Thanksgiving dinner at one o'clock or two. Two thirty, uh, three o'clock. Mad thank friends, you. friends, mad, mad friends. Yo, it's funny because they would have, they would have dinner at two o'clock, but then have the dessert at seven. Like, I, 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 my Colombian ass had dinner at seven thirty. Exactly, like a that's what human being. Exactly, because you have to drink before you eat. Like There's a, a build up. Right. Human being. I was going home, well, getting ready for bed, and all my friends were like, "Look what I just prepared," and I'm yeah. like, "You didn't eat yet? What yeah, the fuck?" Yeah, exactly. I remember. I remember. I remember. Me and Red went to um, a RageWorks uh, holiday. No, no, barbecue a year ago, and must be I nice. Kid, I kid you not. I kid you not. The party <laughs> was all day. The party was all day, but then. Like at the end when everyone was about to leave, right? Right? Remember the the Dominicans started drinking. Like they started partying at eight. Like they yeah. were they were inside that they were inside the house. They were, no, they were inside the house all day. They were inside the house all day, and then when it hits like when it got dark, they were like, "All right, who's drinking? Who's drinking?" I'm like, "Oh my god." Gente, oye, pre- traje presidente, mi gente, coño. <laughs> Yo, and they, and they were like forcing me and Red to stay. Like, you stay, you stay. We drink and party. I'm like, I was here since one. No, 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 no. Latinos are like vampires. The party don't stop till the sun go down, bro. Listen, last night before I was yeah. before I left to work, all I heard was the the Mexicans in the back. They were playing their music at fucking. It was twelve o'clock. It was twelve thirty. That's why I put on on Facebook. I said, if if you're gonna be anything in life, you be the tuba player in a Mexican band. That's what you got. And Rondo knows because he knows the shit. But yeah, Matt, did you have um grapes in your potato salad or raisins? The grapes? Uh, no, I don't know. No. White people, say, hey, put some weird you know shit. What? I'm, I'm gonna blow. I'm gonna blow someone on blast right now. Henry, I'm disappointed in you. You made tuna casserole, you white ass motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not even that white. He didn't even do his mic drop. He took the headphones off. He's like, Henry, you suck. Like, I don't fuck you. Henry, made tuna casserole. You're not even Latino, bro. <laughs> Henry made tuna casserole. Did it look good? Did you put yeah. sasong in it? Did you put adobo he, in it? He put adobo in that shit. You know? <laughs> that shit looked. It looked good. It looked good, but I'm saying like, hmm. Okay. Which by the way, know, which by the way, uh, I'm also disappointed in Henry because he did not call it. He did not call it penny. Penny once. Roast pork he called it roast pork shoulder every time, yo. He never. He didn't call it penny once. Once. He didn't call it. He didn't. Yo, Rondo knew exactly what I'm talking about. Rondo, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yo, he, I got the he, same shit. Yo, he posted it. He posted it ten times, and every single time he said roasted pork shoulder. Get the fuck out of here, Mr. Politically Correct. Fuck you. Uh, you gotta pull his Latino card, right, Rondo? That's it, bro. It's, it's like a, it's like a driver's license. His, his Latino card is suspended for 30 days. <laughs> oh, he's done, though. He's in the corner ripo. and think about what you've done. It's not even coquito. It's like it's a mixture of coconut milk and, <laughs> and, Jason and calls rum. Jason Puerto Rican eggnog. Uh, exactly. That's, what, that's, <laughs> what, that's, what, that's exactly what he should have called it. He should call it Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican eggnog. Coconut nog. <laughs> what is it? It's a Puerto Rican coconut nog. <laughs> <laughs> like Henry really made me think like what the fuck is going on over here, yo? Like uh, before what? we could before we continue, welcome everybody to another episode of Turnbuckle Tabloid. I'm your host, Mitch the Ear to the Mat, the King of Talk Style, and that's always the cheap thrill, Jay the Red Santa. And I am the Mook with the mic. I am the Funko Hub. I am Matthew Wolski. And since we have family here, Rondo, let it go. I am Please feel free to call you, call me my liege, John, MF and bearded wonder Rondo, baby. And wow, that's hot. And madam, you can introduce yourself. I don't have a cool like like shabam. Make type. one. No, I'll, no. Next time I'm coming with fucking music. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole and a DJ, bitch better known as a. Play my music. Yeah, right. I'm she gonna have both, that shit. She, I'm, 
I need background music. You People guys need to you, know when I enter a fucking room. You guys have stepped he on is. an intro. Come on. It's, 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 right. It's, it's, right. Hold on. I, I, I have a title for her. The one who hates Dancing with the Stars. Oh, is that going to be a topic of conversation this week? Because we can fucking go. The uh, Sasha no, 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 Banks no, no. breakdowner. <laughs> like, yeah, actually, have, you know what? For, for Nicole, we have 16 Nicole, it hours of wrestling to cover. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we uh, can't do no. with Dancing with the Stars right now. we got so much wrestling to cover. It kind of has to do with wrestling, though, because Nikki Bella like basically bribed people to vote for Nikki her Nikki Bella There's... begged people to vote for Hummians. She's like, I can't be the only one making money in this house. Mo. Yo, like, you got to vote for my baby daddy because Taylor's <laughs> To, look there at this go. baby there that I go. had with this man who got no fucking money living in my house. I swear it was the <laughs> it was the only time in the history of Dancing with the Stars that I was watching it, and it had to be on the night where everybody was the most disappointed at the results of the finale. And I was like, I'm glad I was part of this. This was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> that shit, that shit, that, that, that shit turned into a novella, telenovela, mad quick. I was like, what the fuck is going on, bro? And then oh, Nicole man. gave me the. Nicole, Nicole violated me in the comments. I'm like, wow. Because you had to, okay. Yeah. Because like my Facebook you... status said, to, because I was like, um, <clears throat> that Caitlyn Bristow basically won because all your motherfuckers jerking off in your mother's basement voted for yeah, Artem because Nikki said to. And Matt made a face. I'm like, okay, you I feel called disagree. out. So I didn't did disagree. I didn't disagree. Hold up made a I comment did... too. But the day after, I did... so we knew he got tired from the night before. The funniest no, thing. I, I, I didn't disagree. My gif was more like, <laughs> wow, that escalated mad quick. <laughs> uh, I was pissed. <laughs> Yes. That wasn't me just agreeing. It was just me I going, oh my. Was, but you know for, what? Do, for those who don't know a little bit on her personal page. It Which is, you don't, uh, and don't friend me, please. Yeah. Stop fucking <laughs> friend requesting me. For the love of God, I don't know you fucking people. No, right? the best part about it is that she jumps on the Turbuckle Tabloid page and it makes a comment. She does a poll and everybody and their mother gets on this shit. It's like, this might be the chance I could get that. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Little do they know. Click, 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 click. Why am I doing a keyboard like people don't fucking use their phones to some answer you, shit? Some of y'all are in my DMs. I mean, it's, uh, it's, some of y'all are respectful. That's cool. Some of y'all are fucking pigs. Oh. Don't fucking message me. You know, they sending them they sending them D pics where it, it, it's dressed up like Macho Man Savage and shit like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm the that's a good video. one. No, Andre, that's the a good one. Afro. If you put a sun, If you put sunglasses on it, it's a good one. It's a good one. No, the that's best, the, the best, the best one is... Thing. Now the best one is um, Andre the Giant with the side chops and the fucking afro. Red, red. I think I think it's the the orange Cassidy with the sunglasses, but it's kind of just like laying there, you know, like kind of just. Oh, it's not really up or down. It's kind of just like it automatic, know, like slanted over. If your dick pic were a wrestler, who it, would it, it be? That's my yeah. next poll. Exactly. Half lip, oh, that's half a good. Lip. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good poll. <laughs> Oh, that, and look at a double entendre. That's a good poll. You see, oh, yeah, depending on hey. women's asses to men's dicks. It's depending, fine. depending how you spell it. <laughs> so make sure you check us out on all media outlets. Check us out on the like group page on Facebook. As always, we were just mentioning it on uh, on uh, on the Facebook group page. We have the polls. We have the interactions. We have all that going down. Make sure you check us out there. And, uh, also, check sure uh, make sure you check us out on Instagram at Turnbuckle Tabloid Podcast, as well as on Twitter at. Turnbuckle tab. And be sure you check us out on Anchor, YouTube, and on all the other outlets such as Get Vocal. You get us at Turnbuckle Tabloid as well. And download, stream, subscribe, and be a part of the Turnbuckle Tabloid uh, progression and uh, process when you go to Spotify, Google Play. Google, oh no, Google Play is actually getting eliminated. So all your stuff, if you got Google Play, they just moving all your shit to YouTube Music. So be ready for that oh. shit. It's, it's closing down. <laughs> but if you have podcasts, it's going to Google Podcasts. So make sure you guys check us out there as well, as well as um, and if you I have heart. photos, pay for those shits now before you lose them. Exactly. No, no, but it's just the Google Play. Um, no, it's everything because I have Google Photos and they said like if you don't have like the, if you're not paying for their service, right. you're, you're beat. Oh my god! Like, they sent me an email, but I pay for my shit. Oh, so yeah, so make sure you transfer if I, everything. If I, I pay for yours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Young Maddie's like, what about mine? I gotta get everything as well. <laughs> so guys, make sure you check us out there on all the podcasting outlets as well. And if you're not, you go to RageWorksNetwork.com. That's where you get all the the the, the podcasting uh, extravaganzas that happen under the RageWorks brand. You get Call Me When It's Over, Black Is New Black. Toys and Text, Trek Untold, and of course you get us here at Turbocal Tabloid at RageWorksNetwork.com and make sure you check us out at RageWorks.net for articles that pertain to all things that is relevant in the culture that we live in and that culture is pop culture. You got video games, movies, TV shows, 
comic books is all there. For all you guys out there that was trying to get the PS5s doing Black Friday, good luck. <laughs> good luck with that shit. <laughs> you got yeah. No, no, no offense. Y'all tight, like. Yo, Matt, is that thing really as big as you? Because I saw your unveiling and I was like, what the fuck? That's uh, what she said. Did Matt just buy a house? It's right. It's right. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's it's right right here. It's fucking huge. No, for what I saw in comparison, is it's about the size of the PS2. It's not really that big. No, it's big. Is it? Yo, it looked like Matt bought like a fucking little tyke's house for his backyard. <laughs> it's like it's a, it's a dollhouse for it. It's big. It's big. it's a big boy. But, but it's like but it, you know what? Like people are texting me crying. Oh, I didn't get one. It's gonna restock, and you're gonna get one. Like 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 Red said, it's not a, it it'll come. It'll no, come. dude, I died because. But can I? Like, I need to be an asshole for a second. But like, are you afraid to get like you're not afraid to get it first? If, like there's like a glitch or something that's gonna like fuck it up. Nah, just because um, I, I bought the PS4 on launch too, and I didn't have any problems with it. If if there's a problem, it, it, it'll I'd be fixed with a patch or. If it fucks up, then I bought the warranty just in case. So, oh, okay. Uh, I, 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 I had to because... Oh, you did the smart white people thing because Hispanics never... We never buy. I never it's do serious. it either, but like... We just blame I, it. I never... Spanish people... No, he just said Spanish people don't buy anything. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Exactly. No, <laughs> they Spanish... took it from the white kid that was walking out of play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we, we don't... We, what we do is we don't buy insurance. We just blame the motherfucker who broke it. That's it. That's, <laughs> That's all we do. All right, nah, exactly. Fuck like it. I buy a new one, motherfucker. Fuck this bullshit. This is the only time I did a warranty on, a, on some, like, something before because it's like, I just want to be careful, but I've had no problems so far. No problems. It's, no, uh, I, I, I laugh because, you know, shout out to my bro, uh, my, my, I can always forget how I phrase it. Little big, big brother. Little big brother. Big, big little brother. No, big little, little, little big brother. Little big brother because he's he's my little brother, but he's bigger than me by a lot. Uh, <laughs> little big brother D, he, he plugged me to a, a website that tells you exactly how much is in stock in every store. Yeah, the so stock, yeah. I wanted there's a there's a GameStop up the block for my job, so I was like, you know, I could go out there and see what I, you know, if I could find something. So about three thirty in the morning, I, I took a walk out there to see. It was already around the corner. It was about twenty five thirty people that was out there. I was like, oh. ridiculous. <laughs> but on on that website, it it said, yeah, there's only two. So I was yeah, like, no, hmm, yeah, yeah, no, each, not each, gonna each happen. Had two. Each GameStop got two Playstations and eight Xboxes. That's so ridiculous. I went to go check, right? I went to go check. In the morning after I got out of work, I went to the guy and the guy that I that works there is he used to work on the one close to us. So I go to the check and he see he recognized me. And he goes, Hey, yeah, 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 you're coming in. He, you know, he's a little weirdo. He's like, Yeah, yeah, you're coming in. I say, like, No, 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 no. I, I I already know the deal. I said, But by the way, how many PS5s did you have? He said, We only had two. It's like, Yep, thank you. Thanks. I just just wanted to know. Just wanted to know. I walked in. I went to GameStop today to pick up a, <clears throat> a few things for the sale tonight mm -hmm. and. The guy, three people ran in the store. They didn't walk. They ran in the store and said, please, I've been to five GameStops already. Please tell me you have the PlayStation. And the girl goes, no, really? we sold out. And he goes, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, I've been going everywhere. Oh. He was like, come on. He his tears. <laughs> and he, yo, he asked me, he was like, please, do you have a PlayStation? I'm like, yeah, I'm not selling it, though. The fuck? Man, that's so so sad. Oh. oh, he lost it. He was like, I've been everywhere. He goes, Do you at least have a Nintendo Switch? I'm like, Wow, you mad? Did they have bro. the Switch though? They should have had the Switch. They, 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 they did have the Switch. Yeah. Oh, okay. They the that they should have had though. They should have gave but him that. The, they should have gave him the half-ass Switch. That is like, yeah, you can't disconnect the Joy Cons. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. You can't. Oh, the, the Switch Lite, whatever it's called. Oh yeah. That's not bad though. For like, you can't for, like, disconnect it, but gamers. it comes in like this pretty coral. <laughs> yeah, it comes in a nice color. Well, you can get it in turquoise green. You can get it in fuchsia. Your kid's not going to hear um... that they can't play with a friend because it's yellow. <laughs> Which I do want to make a quick announcement that uh, the game, I actually bought a game on Restock today. Did uh, you? It was, the game, it, it, it was the game that my ex-girlfriend stole from me after she broke up with me. So fuck yourself. Yeah, I re-bought it. I re yeah, that, it. that shows her. I rebought it when I could have just went and got it back from you. Nah, they don't want shit from that bitch. It's probably like contaminated it's, and whatnot. It's Fuck her. It's that game got it's COVID. It's, contam it's contaminated with regret and disappointment, so I don't want that. I'm good. <laughs> Here's to you, bitch. Look at Rondo. Yeah, Bafangu. 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 I bought it. Yo, it's usually 60 bucks. I bought it for 15. She so you know what? Sal Salud, motherfucker. No. <laughs> Salute, bitch. And, uh, and you know how you get it back? You buy the video game and you lose fucking 40 pounds. That's how you get it back. 
That's how you get them back. Dude. 40? <laughs> Call that 100, Pop. Fuck you! <laughs> I hope you get bullshit no, in your we're stocking. Not, we're not going to say the things that Wait we want her to get. It's not 100 because... pounds you lost. I started at 275, and now I'm 180. So around. Close Jesus I, I, Christ. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I'm, I'm, I'm plus done, the other 200 done, pounds he lost when he dropped her ass. That's what? 250. Yeah. Oh! Now that's a Christmas miracle. Fuck Rondo, out of here. Let's Rondo, how much go. you lost? Uh, 84 pounds. Now. And wow. I gained everything that they lost. Yeah. So did I. Yes, yes. <laughs> I find. I find. COVID. Yes. No. You look. You look wonderful, Maddie, darling. Maddie. What up? COVID. Yeah, COVID. <laughs> and that's exactly what both of you are using your right hand. So, in any case, so um, on this wow, week's episode, <laughs> on this week's episode, I'm a switch hitter, red. I'm a switch hitter. <laughs> on, I'll throw something. No, at him. don't worry. You got to do what you call it. You have to do uh, on what's it? The stranger. Make sure you sit on your hand for about thirty minutes, and then you know magic oh, happens. God, he's old. He has to go back and forth. He needs both. Burr, burr, burr. He tires himself out real quick using one hand. He's got to use both. Fucking I'm your, on an AARP. The 40s are fucking terrible. I'm on an AARP regimen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't oh, get but it's still on the PS5 for that. So, guys, uh, this week's episode, we have cutting a promo. Cutting a promo this week is one where we've been beating around a bush to get to. We've been talking about it, but things been popping up. This week, we, we finally discuss on episode 200. We have gotten to 200. Who the fuck knew that this would happen? Two hundred. That's a big milestone. That is a big milestone. That's because what you and Rondo because were from. Me and Rondo, exactly. Right, Rondo? You, you guys bring the numbers, baby. We bring the numbers. Bring the numbers. Yeah, absolutely. So much uh, love, man. Well, well. Uh, before we could, you know, because I always do the rundown like we're still doing a one shot episode. Episode two hundred will be cutting a promo. Cutting a promo will be. Uh, when did I start hating wrestling? But it's not really <laughs> that. I just wanted that title, but. My whole premise of this is when people decided to veer away from wrestling, when did it stop being entertaining or fun or it's not real to me, damn it, anymore. So I, I, I wanted to do a conversation with that and see if uh, we get outside parties to, to tell us. And it's also, when did you jump back? You know, That's the big part. When did you come back to it? My loser ass never left. I just was like there for the longest Here. time. I, I, did, I actually took a small break. Did you take a small break? I did, and uh, I did. I'll tell you when during cutting a promo, but I, I took like a year break. I took a year or two break. Okay, we'll discuss that as well as uh, we have for Wrestling Rundown. Uh, as always, news stories and stuff that uh, go comes down the pike in which we, we, we talk shit about. And it's just us in the middle just spilling tea and gossiping. That's just what we do here. Also, we have a Round of Square Circle where we discuss what went down during wrestling during the week, as well as this week's conversation for episode... 200 will be a little bit and Rondo and myself will visit we'll be discussing uh, just random a potpourri of things just uh our love for wrestling the connection that we made with it and it's just uh, just a family group and because apparently or we get rid of you and me and Rondo just take over the show like yeah, we should have done like a that, year ago yeah that's exactly what you guys <laughs> isn't that what you guys wanted to do during like the the the, the three year anniversary and, shit? and then COVID oh, happened yeah. and then Rondo got stuck COVID in Long Island like three weeks after exactly yeah, while, while Oski goes over there and sells little people. Uh, listen, bro, I gotta, gotta, <laughs> gotta, gotta help, gotta help the community out. You know what I'm saying? Little people at a time. Give yourself a cheap, uh, a cheap freaking plug and tell people where they could get your, um, your, your podcast and such. Sure. What's going on, guy? Well, Funko Hub on Instagram at the Funko Hub, and you can follow my podcast on Spotify and RageWorksPodcast.com at the Funko Hub Popcast. Episode two is out now, where we discuss pop rocks our favorite musicians, and uh, what it means to be turned into a pop. So we have that episode out now, and then my uh, my sale's about to start in an hour, so you're not gonna, it's going to be done by the time you hear this shit. You were, you were, um, you were turned into a pop, which is cool. Oh, amazing, and I put the Fungal Hub sticker on it, uh, I, which I got to give, give you guys stickers, by the way. I'll bring them something tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, I turn, uh, <laughs> thanks thanks to my boy Red over here making a pop of my – he popped me. That sounds Ooh. wrong, but he popped me. It's never wrong when you say it like that, sweetie. Jesus fucking Christ. Ooh, it's let's never get wrong. it, baby. It's never wrong. So, guys, don't go, to, after hours. don't go anywhere. Stick around. We will return. Check you guys in a sec. The family's here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, for the, it's, it's Thanksgiving here at Turnbuckle Tabloid. Yeah. See you guys in a sec. Thanksgiving. Hey, guys. If you are an up-and-coming artist and you want to share your talents with the world... 
you know here at Typical Tabloid, we love playing people's music. We do it for anyone who has the talent and is inspired to just share their love for music and their passion here at Typical Tabloid. Although we're a wrestling show, we do enjoy our music. Oski and I are aficionados and connoisseurs of good music. So if you want to play your music on Typical Tabloid, Make sure you check us out at Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Turnbuckle Tabloid and you just check out our tiers and just give us some love and we'll show you love by playing your music to the masses who listen to us here at our little goofy podcast. So if you're a big musician and you just want to share it to the masses, check out our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Turnbuckle Tabloid and um one hand washes the other and we'll make sure that people hear your talents hi this is martin Cassell from lucha underground and a bunch of other places you're listening to turnbuckle tabloid have fun <laughs> ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of Turnbuckle Tabloid. This is Wrestling Rundown. Are you adjusted now? Do you have it working over there? <laughs> yeah, man. I have to, uh, I have to adjust and uh, make it work. I've been gone. It's been, uh, I had, I had wipe, wipe the cob, the cobweb dust. It's been, it's been one week since you looked at me. Yeah, yeah. It's been, uh, like I said, just gotta be safe. But uh, the mic missed me, and I missed the mic, and uh, but it didn't want to, didn't want to go uh, cooperate. Man. So did you take advantage of any um, Black Friday sales? Yes, sir. What'd you get? Uh, I bought, I bought mainly everyone's Christmas gifts based off Black Friday deals. I got your gift, um, bruh. I saw it and I instantly pressed boom, boom, boom. I didn't even fucking second guess myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I bought myself a uh, Link's Awakening for Switch for twenty bucks. Mm-hmm. Usually sixty. It's great. Splatoon two. I lost. I bought it again. Like I said, before, like I said in the previous episode. Uh, yeah. Fuck you, ex girlfriend. For keeping that, um, I got uh, a new charging stand for my phone. Um, so uh, nothing crazy, but um, I have a list of things on my list. I know you were getting those fire sticks. Yeah, that's already that's already done. Got them shit. How many of them you got? Just bought two. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I have I have four together still. So okay, so you know, if anyone ready. wants a, a non modded, it's a fresh out of the uh, gang, yeah. gang, <laughs> gang. Do you, do you um do you, do you like spread the word at your job like walk around go up ding 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 ding, ding. new yeah, sales yeah, new yeah. sales there was some yeah I let them know are people like waiting right now being like yo where's uh where's no, the stock at where's they that know but they know where it is they they always come to me and they ask me yo you got one yep I was in, especially and I, especially during the holidays and I always keep one in my bag so that's yeah, the case. Good, smart man I always keep one in the bag I went and copped um fuser. The, the DJ oh, game. how is it? I've been dying to. I want to. So I was playing it. It's actually pretty fun. Is it? Yeah, it's fun. Good, cause I, cause I, <laughs> I want to get it on my PC, but um, I was waiting for a deal on PC. I know there's a deal on Switch right now. It's like forty bucks. Right? Yeah, I got it for forty. Come out together. Is like it worth it? Bucks. Like it's fun to vibe with. Yeah, like we were having feel, a really I, good time. I feel like it's hard to get used to though. Well, then you just have to. Um, it's basically you just gotta follow the commands and for you to do better and all that stuff. You you. You'll get it. You'll pick it up. Good, yeah. Because I'm seeing the. It's not like it's not like um guitar guitar here where you press the red button, the blue, <laughs> yellow. It's not like you're doing that. Like I feel like you actually you have to drop in shit. Yeah, you have to do it on a certain. You, 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 you they tell you that you have to do it on like a, on a downbeat. Uh, play two rap songs, two pop songs, blah blah blah. Oh, they're playing no games. Yeah, so you have to follow just the command and, and keep the the crowd jumping and shit. So, I mean, I'm excited, man. I'm gonna get. I'm definitely, I, oh, I bought Resident Evil Three for free. 
For free? The remaster, the one that just came out. I got that for free because I, I bought Battlefield 1 about a month ago. I instantly hated it. Right. And I got a refund, and that was 20 bucks. and now Resident Evil 3 was uh, 15 on oh, okay. Steam. So I got it for, I basically got it for free. Um, oh, okay. I, um, I've been wanting to play 3 for a minute, so I'm happy that I got that. And um, I'm waiting for Cyber Monday. Because Black Friday deals, you know, they're okay. But Cyber Monday, because I'm, I'm shopping exclusively online this year. If, you, if you're going into stores to Black Friday shopping malls, I'm sorry. Um, you're delusional. Uh, you know, I know people in my family who did it. And I'll even tell them, you're delusional. It's fucking COVID-19, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's stay home. So that Cyber Monday's going to have the deals. So I'm waiting for that to finish off everybody else's gifts and uh, to cap that off. Um... I was going to buy Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but my coworker bought it for me for Christmas for PS5. I'm like, damn, bro. You didn't have to do that. I was like, you. I heard it's not that good, though. I got, no, good reviews. I heard, I I've, gotten, choppy as shit. I've gotten good reviews besides the fact that it's a little buggy. But Ubisoft is the definition of not perfect. Yeah, I so, heard it's um, choppy as shit. And Ubisoft it, is the definition of not perfect. But, but they're, saying, they're saying it's the best one since Black Flag. So. No, I have heard of the opposite. I heard that. Really? Was, yeah, I heard that it's basically a copy and paste of like the older Assassin's Creed. Really? Except they just, they just overlaid it with a Viking theme and shit. I haven't yeah. heard that, but uh, I guess the reviews are different um, per person. Uh, because, I, like I said, positive. I've heard. I, I haven't heard positive all the way through, but I have heard um, people love it. Um, but I guess I'll try it out myself. I guess uh, I'm waiting for Christmas. TikTok, so. TikTok to Cyberpunk. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, that's the, is which gone. which I just found out. GameStop has gave me a thirty dollars coupon that coupon? that ends at December thirty first. So I'm gonna get Cyberpunk for like thirty bucks. Oh. So that's a good. How the hell do you get that? I don't know. I went to GameStop to pick up a few things for the live sale last night, and she was like, you have a $30 GameStop coupon. Do you want to use that? I'm like, I get a coupon every time I come here. She goes, yeah. I'm like, but this is like way... I usually get $5. How the hell 30. did you, they just tell you that you have it? Yeah. And my, and my total yesterday was like 20 bucks. She was like, do you want to just get it for free now? I'm like, nah, I'll save for Cyberpunk. I was like, I'll just buy this shit now. I'm, never, I'm always buying shit from them fuckers. I don't get and a she was fucking like, coupon. Are you a Power Up Reward member? Hell yeah. She, she told me, she was like, she was like, just save. She even told me to save this for Cyberpunk. She goes, you'll get it for literally half off. I'm like, all right, no problem. Fucking coupons. Do you have a coupon? You know what it is too? Because I don't think you, you, you use your power. I do every you. time. Oh, every time, I don't know. bro. I go to the store every time, and they say you have a five dollar coupon. You want to use it? You have a five dollar coupon. You want to use it? <coughs> but now it's thirty dollars. So I don't know. But as always, I am the Howard Stern of this segment to my Robin Ophelia Quivezowski. So Oski, take it away. All right. The first piece of news we have is um, that we have some bad news on um, Hulk Hogan's Netflix biopic uh, film. Um, with the update that it is quote unquote not a done deal, and is currently not in production. Um, of course, uh, that is the 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 highly requested film. Um, I think Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth yeah. um, Mighty Thor, is supposed to be playing Hulk, and actually is training his ass off to play the part. Um, but as of right now, it is said that it is not in production, um, and that the flick is not a done deal. Um, is this a must? A must? Um, a do? Should Netflix be making this a priority right now to be made? Like, is this like their money maker? Uh, no, I, I could be. It really I, I don't could think. Be. I, I don't think. I. I don't think. I, I. I really was crying out for a Hulk Hogan biop. Does it movie. come with Chris Hemsworth saying the N word? Yeah, right. Uh. I, I want to find out. He must be the most boring person to. In wrestling, to do a, a video about a movie about has to be who Hogan. Yes, he's got to be boring. No, he probably has so many good road stories and shit, yeah. and like having to humble people and you know. Really, I don't know. He looks boring as fuck. Honestly, he does. <laughs> he just there's no pizzazz to him. But, I, I don't know. but unless it's Hulkamania, unless you're gonna tell me how many chicks you banged back in the day, like those kind of stories. Uh, no, he looks boring as shit. <laughs> oh. A little bit of the bubbly. <laughs> um, Kurt Angle recently um, posted a picture of his health and his well-being, and he looks jacked. The guy's in great shape, working out every day, eating healthy, and it seems like it is paying off. But once again, after another legend posts their update on their physique, Billy Graham. Oh, of course. Superstar Billy Graham's hating ass. Billy Graham has to comment on it and says that... Um, um, good protein, a good diet, and a lot of steroids is the reason for Kurt Angle's success. Saying, um, so, fa <laughs> so fans, Kurt Angle at age 51 has turned his physique completely around. With hard work, eating the right amount of protein, and taking plenty of roids, he has literally transformed himself into another person. 
I say congratulations to Kurt, as I have always liked this man from the first day I met him. Uh, way to go, brother. Uh, let me ask you this. What the? F- why does he keep promoting steroids? Because that's all he knows. His, he's but, he, but, he, but, but, but whenever someone comes out of the grave and does <clears throat> great for themselves, it's, my man took roids. With an assumption... How are you do like what the fuck? I don't because understand. he's bitter because that's what his career fucking that's what killed his career steroids steroids killed his career with all those fucking surgeries that he had to get for his knee and his in his ass and all the shit that fucked him up hip replacement it was because the steroids was was eating his bones up so so he wants other people to he wants everybody die? to fucking die and 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 that's the assumption and nobody can have a. a a legit body Nobody can but have But it sounds him. like He's promoting steroids Like oh this guy is 51 And he looks great For taking steroids And it's Is that him like in denial Like oh um he's I, like I every, did the right thing Right He's like every fan That just want, That sees somebody With a great physique And go oh you know That's steroids right He's just every fan That does that he's, yeah. he's no He's no different But he's also a bitter prick Who fucking got his career Cut short because Of his fucking steroid use 18,000 people Calling you an asshole that's good. I like that. Uh, that's actually uh, that's a good drop. That's a good drop. Up next, we have um, an interesting um, quick side uh, side news. Fit Finley and Gregory Helms are officially back in WWE, and WWE has officially announced. Thank you, thank you. WWE has officially announced that they will be bringing back all the four load and released employees that worked in the back, producers. Um, um, people who worked in the back regard um, other positions, but Fit Finley and Gregory Helms are two of the most noted ones. And people are saying Gerald Briscoe is next. Are you happy to see these guys come back? Briscoe's ass ain't coming right next. He said, "Fuck this! I'm gonna stay retired. Give me some fucking money to stay my ass home. Fuck that." I'm happy to see Finley and Helms though. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, dude. You, you kind of know when they were furloughed, they were coming back. But I want. It's funny how they bring um, Hurricane back, and he was just in AEW. Yeah, and Impact. And impact, yeah. He was, he, he was making the rounds everywhere. Yeah, but, yeah. He was, but he was hey, he could. Hey, he could do it. He could. So I mean, uh, did they even, did did they make a difference in the back? Like, are they really like? Are they just names to the fucking to the to the book at this point? Are they actually? Did they actually? No. Make, they actually a lot of the wrestlers say that 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 they're very insightful and they help, especially when it comes to booking and helping to put together matches. So no, they, they, no, they are good. Why don't you put a little bass in your voice, then? Why don't you shut up, Steve? WWE has filed a trademark for the name Dean Ambrose. Why the hell would they do that? I guess it's for um, future references when it comes to uh, documentaries and shit like that. Really? Yeah. Pretty much. I, it, but why would anyone else use that name? Why would anybody else use Dean Ambrose? They have John Moxley. Well, not because they, they, they'll probably say that you'll reference it in another promotion. So. And make fun of it? Yeah, so you can't use it. No. Are we getting really, like... Petty, yeah. Are we getting really petty with these with these copyrights now? Yeah, yeah. WWE is just no. Yeah, I feel like it's a trademark. They war. waste money. They love to waste it's money. It's not a ratings bullshit. war. It's not a ratings war anymore. It's a fucking trademark war. Yeah. <laughs> like it's ridiculous. It's where they waste money on bullshit. That's all it is. Oh jeez. I'm the landlord, and rents due. You son of a bitch. Um. <laughs> well, we have an update. Um. <laughs> We have an update um, for Drake Wirtz, the man who was supposedly oh God, really? um, on Parlor, and uh, as we said last week, um, associated with the what the Good Boys, the Proud Boys, the Proud Boys. Uh, after um, after he posted a bunch of stuff, hashtag Froder, fo- voter fraud is real. Voter fraud is real. Um, and all that stuff he made in he made in a, a statement regarding um, those that proof. He said, an irresponsible and biased wrestling journalist has been recklessly attacking me and my family. I will not be bullied and I will not put up with it. For some reason, he has targeted me for quite some time now. He has gone so far as to stalk my wife's social pages and has documented every like or follow we've made in an attempt to have me canceled. He's falsely labeling me as a as a as a as a Proud Boys activist. This guy's attacked this guy attacked me for this and that. Basically, he's defending himself saying, um, that people are picking fights with me because of my political belief. Leave me alone. And uh, the threats are out of hand. Um, 
kind of his fault, though. Why You know you're in that position where people are all eyes are on you. You're on TV. Why the fuck are you going to post some, some controversial shit like hashtag voter fraud is real? Do you not see what happened to Jackson Riker? I mean, he said one thing about Trump, and he has been gone for months. No, but, you know, honestly, <laughs> it, to be honest, like I don't really give a fuck who. Like, I, don't I don't care, care who he votes I for. I don't care. Like, that's, that's, you know, that's... That's your belief in that, and 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 don't give me this. I'm being attacked, bullshit, because it goes back and forth. Because even you know the the alternate right or the far right does the same shit with fucking leftists and liberals, whatever the fuck you want to do, back and forth. The shit goes back and forth, and it goes both ways. So don't give me this. Oh, I'm being attacked because I support someone. No, it goes both ways. Listen, uh, to be honest, you like we mentioned earlier, you go on these platforms and you say these things. So of course somebody's going to go and question you. They're going to comment on you because you are putting these th- your, your thoughts and your feelings out to be you know to be commented on. We right. do it on a fucking on on a podcast. We do it. We put our thoughts, our beliefs, and our feelings and our ideas, whatever fuck we put it out there. And somebody's sitting there listening to it and has a comment and agrees or disagrees with what we say. So. That's the point of it. If you don't want to do it, don't post the, it. Stay the fuck off of social media. That's we it. always say that. Jesus, yeah. you're a real idiot. You know that. Eric <laughs> Bischoff, you alright, bro? I dry throw. <clears throat> I need just some drink. <laughs> Eric Bischoff <clears throat> was on his podcast this past week and said that he feels bad. Um, and one of his biggest regrets in being in the business was the tr- the, the the portrayal of Abyss saying. I felt so bad for him, and that he was a Mick Foley ripoff character, uh, saying, "I could not, I, I couldn't wait to join man to join the production team and change him to Joseph Parker. I knew he had something better." Joseph to Parks. Own. Joseph Parks. Sorry, mm-hmm. uh, I'm happy that you know. Basically, he was saying that um, he was he couldn't wait to change the Abyss character. He thought it was stupid. He thought it was a Mick Foley ripoff, and uh, I I disagree. Why? Because you're a, a hardcore guy. You're Mick Foley. I, I I thought Abyss was kind of a combination of Mick Foley and like the Undertaker in a way, like the mysterious. I you know, I'm not gonna speak. I don't know. Like, there of course there's gonna be a look like like guys who are alike in that realm. But what do you think about that? You, you always thought of Abyss as a ripoff character of Mick Foley. Yeah, he was a big man. He was a big mankind ripoff. But still, it. Everybody's a ripoff of somebody. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's so it's a like, gimmick you're, 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 off, of, off of somebody else. There's a gimmick. Chad Gable right now is a ripoff of Kurt Angle. Billy Olympic Gunn Golden. is basically fucking Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Uh, without the without the fucking the Clippers when he was Brutus Beefcake. Uh, there's fucking clowns everywhere. You know, everybody's a doink or a fucking paint or a Sting now because fucking uh, Darby Allen paints his face like a Stingway. Everybody's a gimmick of us. But the only thing I can't say is that Biss made it work. I love the Biss. He well, once you start talking, I didn't like. But, oh no, uh, I thought he could cut a promo. I thought he was good at it too. But yeah, he was a big mix of Undertaker, Mankind, and Kane, and it worked. So, um, uh, as for what Bishop said that he was happy to come and make him Joseph Parks, yeah, that didn't work out well, did it? Uh, Yikes! Do you have to ask permission from your father-in-law first? Rick Steiner's son, Bronson Reich Steiner. Rick and Steiner. The fuck? Um, okay. Is officially receiving a WWE trial, and people are, are are saying that he has the potential to be the next Roman Reigns. Uh, people saying he has the physique, he has the look, he's built, and um, if he could work in the ring, he has um, he has plans to be a future superstar. By the looks of him, do you do you think he'll um, he'll make the tryout? Yeah, he's a good looking kid. <laughs> Excuse me. He's but 20, can, he, can he work? Like he's 20, I don't know. I never seen him. Probably. Wrestling. I know not. he plays football. And he was a running back for um. Some, oh, he played football. Oh, they're hiring him. Yeah, he played on like division. They hire anybody who plays division football. Division two football. He uh, he was a running back, and I think he had he holds a record for that school's uh, rushing title and shit. So um, I think I believe so. But uh, he's like 23 years old, young kid. Um, he's got the look. He's got. I don't know. If what they should do is they should get fucking um. What you call it? One the Lauren Itis son, and make him a fucking uh, make it make them a tag team or some shit. Right. Let's bring the Steiner brothers two point oh. The, the Steiner brothers and the Road Warriors and bring them together and have like a whole fucking the Steiner Warriors. The Steiner bullshit. Warriors. Exactly. Some shit like that. And you know what happens when you call yourself the best in the world? Everybody back there, including me, is thinking Shane McMahon can kiss my ass. Unfortunately, we have some bad news. As I, uh, it is unfortunate uh, to report that Bob Ryder 
has passed away. And uh, Bob Ryder was found um, dead in his home this past week. But unfortunately, uh, no, but fortunately, um, he will be remembered in the Impact uh, locker room and in other locker rooms forever. Impact officials couldn't get in touch with him, unfortunately, this past week. But um, he was the founder of OneWrestling.com, and he co-hosted WCW Live in the late 90s. Um, Ryder also co-founded TNA along with Jeff and Jerry Jarrett in 2002. The story goes that Jarrett's were uh, that, that the Jarrett's were on Ryder's boat when they came up with the, the idea to form TNA. He had been handling the travel and logistics for the company, but he had also been battling cancer for the last several years. Um, condolences to the family. Red, you know anything about my, my man uh, about uh, Bob Ryder? Because supposedly he was one of the creators of TNA. Uh, no. Which is a big deal. Uh, nope. No idea who he is. Well, uh, I, 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 I didn't either. I didn't either. But but if, if he's important, supposedly in the creation process of Impact, then he's important in the wrestling business. So. Not me. I don't don't know. So rest in peace to my man, uh, um, Bob Ryder. Is it Ryder or Ritter? Is it Ryder? One R. I mean one T or two or two T's. It's uh, it's not even a T. What is? It? D. A oh, Ryder. Ryder. Oh, Ryder. Oh, okay. That's not like, I was like, all right, whatever. Yeah, Bob Ryder unfortunately passed away. But uh, your face looks like my nuts, except you got a hairier bush. <laughs> wow. Anything on your end? Uh, new drops. Apparently, if you hear it. <laughs> yeah, amazing. I love it. Finally got new drops. Um, congratulations to Xavier Woods. He signs a deal with G4. I'm so excited for this yeah, comeback. Yeah, I'm the, hyped. I'm, I'm hyped. so happy. And the great thing about it is that you have no idea what the fuck G4 is. I don't, and I'm gonna be able to watch it. So. Oh my god! But I'm I'm still I still don't know if it's gonna be a cable network or is it gonna be part of YouTube or it's gonna I think be a smart separate... idea would be to go to YouTube. Yeah, I'm. Don't I make don't, mad bread on there. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'm excited for it to come back. Uh, I still don't understand what the full role is for Xavier Woods. I know it's probably gonna be a host. I hope they say he's a host. I hope he's gonna be a host for Attack of the Show. That's I love that show, Attack of the Show or. Um, it's a whole network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, but Attack of the Show is is, is a it's a program in the network. So uh, that's what I'm saying. You really don't. Like, damn. That's weird. <laughs> also, um. Uh, Gilbert uh, suffers a heart attack apparently this past week, and uh, he's doing fine. He's already out of ICU. It was the sparklers, wasn't it? Yeah, it was probably was the sparklers. I think he probably had a bad piece of turkey that went down the wrong way. <laughs> but apparently, no, he um, it was stuffing. It was the stuffing. Um, Dwayne Gill, he goes by in uh, in, in his shoot name. In real life, Gil- yeah, Dwayne Gill. Yeah, he he got the gimmick of Gilbert in the '90s because he was. Basically, an old skinny version of Goldberg, so they just made him Gilbert, and he's a, I believe, is a two or three time cruiserweight champ. Yeah, more than Spike Dudley, huh? Yeah. So, uh, uh, hope he's feeling well and get on that roll to recovery. Vince never wanted to see Sting versus Undertaker. He saw nothing in it. Apparently, and he's delusional. Apparently, through uh, Meltzer, as uh, through his reporting, saying as though that um. Never saw money in it. Didn't understand why people wanted to see it. And he never got it. And is that old man delusional shit? Like, yeah, and that's the that's the WrestleMania which we saw Taker versus Br- uh, Bray Wyatt, and uh, I believe it was Sting versus Triple, Triple H. H. And yeah, <laughs> come like, on, man, Are you kidding? That's it's just that Vince sense. is a miserable prick. Anything that's just not he's bitter and it's he's not petty. it's not out of his brain. And if he it's not do WWE, it. he does not want to do it. It's just a, a, a ridiculous fucking. Uh, uh, mindset that he has And it's still hey, gonna be that way hey, And boss, God I can't wait for him to fucking go away Cornette mentioned this week He even said He says I'm sorry but after watching Vince In uh, the dedication to he Undertaker done. He goes He looks horrible <laughs> Yeah yeah. He goes He just needs He, he, he goes to bed He's gonna go to bed he's, Yeah he says he, no, He's in his In that those years that Maybe you need to start sleeping more. This no, he is, it does. It starts wearing on your body. You look terrible. It looks like you're painting your bro, hair. He bro, he sleeps like an hour a day. It's like literally it's like, not oh, even. It's like three hours a day. Some shit like that. That is not okay for someone that age. No, that's, that's not okay for anyone. Who the fuck even? You know, I always called bullshit on that too. Right? I, I really don't believe that he slept that way. That's that's uh... that's ridiculous. That in that age, you got a nap. You have to be napping. Well. I nap now. I'm not even close to fucking 75 years old. Shit. <sighs> that was terrible. And he's, um, yeah, he looks bad. But, awful. Uh, hey, hey, we just brought Sting in. We're going to do Sting and Taker right now. No. 
Fuck that. Why would we want to do that? Who, 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 well, no, one, no one wants to see well, that. Well, Vince, they're two dark characters. That, no, well, what are you talking about? Uh, this is something that the fan base has been wanting to see for years. Really? Not, not in WWE. We Vince, never wanted to see Vince, that. This is the dream match if... If for WCW versus WWE. Nope. This, that, nope, no, 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 no. That sounds like a nightmare for me. That's more than not a dream. It's more than like a nightmare for I'll anyone. Give him, I'll give him three minutes and Undertaker squashes him. I'm sorry, no. pal. That's not going to go over. I'm sorry. It's not gonna, the fan base is not going to get into it. And then he loses the Triple H. Like, come on, man. <laughs> and uh, finally on my end, the ex-girlfriend of Alberto Del Rio. Oh, yeah, that was the finale for me, too. So that's a good way to close it off. Oh, okay. Issues an apology on Instagram. <laughs> and uh, basically the, the transgressions is basically saying she apologizes for the accusations and stuff. And such and uh, family of Del Rio has made a comment stating that yeah this is basically in paraphrasing basically yeah yeah this is what happens when you bullshit. Now mind you, mind you, when we reported the stir uh, the story a couple of weeks ago, we we made sure we disclaimed it as allegedly. Yeah. But I also right. believe that he's still a scumbag. I still believe he's an asshole, and I still believe because there's other stories of him doing douchebag shit. For but sure. In this scenario, uh, if. Like I said, the case will get dropped, but they don't know yet because he has to see the court in January. So uh, we we'll wait oh, to see Jesus on that. Jesus Christ, this yeah. man! He, he just, i don't even care if he's found non-guilty. Go, go, go to go to jail, bro. Go home. Go home, bro. Do like, something. Get the fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Like I just can't. I can't take it no more, man. Uh, but other than that, yeah, this uh, on this side is done. Yeah. I'm done too. I'm good. All right, um, guys. Not, not much news this week, so uh, it's all good. Guys, when we come back, we have uh, Around the Square Circle that's going to be on Get Vocal. And uh, make sure you subscribe to us on Get Vocal so you guys can be a part of that and uh, other tidbits that are going on in there. Also, make sure you check us out on other social media outlets, the Facebooks, the Instagrams, the Twitters, the whatever, and, uh, and also the, the podcasting outlets as well. So you can connect with us there. And uh, remember, episode 200, we have cutting a promo. Cutting a promo this week is the Why I Hate Wrestling. We had a uh, nice conversation with Little Bit and Rondo sitting in with us, as well as our conversation with the two on basically a, a wrestling roundtable we had, just having discussions on our thoughts about what's happening with wrestling and how we are involved in... I guess the world of wrestling So make sure you check us out there So guys don't go anywhere Stick around We'll be back in a sec Check you guys Like a song, I should be like, Free your mind, let it flow. Okay, disturb. Feel the same and in you. Rock the world, feel the volume echoing to your soul in depth. So, Don't you wanna <laughs> fuck you? <laughs> I'm gonna find you and word. <laughs> Yikes. Round the square circle, ladies and gentlemen, here on Get Vocal, as well as on our podcast and all other things that's connected to us here at Turbuckle Tabloid. Absolutely. Round the square circle, our review of this week's wrestling, what we've listened to, what we're a part of, and what we partake in, and what are the other nonsense that occurs. Wow, oh, wow. Did Jim Cornette go on a tangent this week? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh... We have a lot to talk about this week. We have a review, a quick review of, um... The pay-per-view that was this week, do I remember that? It was Survivor Series, right? Yeah, that's what it was. Survivor yeah. Series. Um, I finally listened to Jim Cornette after a couple of weeks off. Um, but I guess what, we're going to get started? Yeah, go ahead. Let's yeah, swing. Sure. Um, like I said, listen to Jim Cornette and his reaction to The Undertaker's cameos were fucking hilarious. I'm going to let you talk more in depth with it, oh. but holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yo, Granny. I still can't believe that he's doing this. I no, can't. I can't. Well, I can't. I either. can see him on Twitter. I can see the Instagram stuff. Hell, even TikTok. I don't see TikTok at all. Really? I mean, listen, he can do it with his daughter. That's what a lot of the guys are doing now. They're doing a lot of stuff with their kids, which is cool. But sure, the <laughs> the cameo. 
You had to do 30 cameos of whatever they wanted you to say. And this is yeah. not a guy who should be doing that. No, especially, um, hey, Johnny, you're the creature of the night. <laughs> like, what? You wrote the best book of all time in horror. It's like, what <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it's, it's not worth one, well, one grand. Son. No, no. To sell I'd rather, I'd, 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 I'd rather buy a PS5 on, resell, on resale on eBay than Get fucking Undertaker. Get that StockX or some shit like that. Not a fan of that at all. That's but, um, crazy. Um, I'll, I'll let you talk more in depth with that when it's your turn. But um, besides that, um, <sighs> nothing much. Nothing much. I um, I, I I watched a few things on the network that were cool. I watched a couple. Of, I, I rewatched a couple of Table for Threes. Okay. Um, their new ones coming soon. I think Keith Lee episodes coming soon with Table for Three. But uh, the ones I watched. Not a just, Table for Three. He's uh, he's doing the twenty four. Right, twenty four. Um, yeah. Which is cool. Um, network needs more content, man. The network needs more content. Uh, if the ne- if the WWE's product was anything like their documentaries, it'd be a home run. It'd be it'll be great. The product would be great. But well, the wrestling now is just me. Well, I I want Legends House in quarantine. Oh, <laughs> I want Legends House Part Two. Even though half of the group unfortunately has passed on to a further life. Exactly. Uh, or the fact that a lot of these guys uh, would never want to be in the same room with anybody else, uh, regardless what, 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 of what, COVID. What would be your top five? Like, what would be like your elite Legends House now? Group, right now, alive. Oh, like, who would you? Cornette, Bischoff, oh, God. Russo. Oh God. Um. Uh, uh, I'll put Jr. in there, right? Jr. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, Pat Patterson could go back. I thought he was interesting. Yeah. If Pat was there. Uh, maybe Gerald Briscoe. What about um Jimmy Hart? And, oh, uh, uh, no. Um, Jerry Lawler. Oh my God! So all the old Jamokes. And just give me one. Oh, no, I'll put um the, the the dude on um AEW. Um, oh Tony Schiavone. Tony Schiavone. Tony Schiavone. Yeah. I would put uh hundred percent. That would be funny as fuck. That would uh, be- probably Bruce Pritchard. Put Bruce Pritchard in there. Oh my, yo, that would be must-watch television. Yes, they they be- kill each other. Yo, the show would end by episode three because someone would die. Cornette has already Cornette already said he said I wouldn't do no shit like that for any <laughs> amount of fucking money in the That's world. A lie. He would do it. That's he, a lie. he says that he will not do it. He says he doesn't yo, you get know what? two I fucks found about you. That. I um, found you, Edward. <laughs> It's, cat, it's addicting to anybody. It's, like, it's a stupid song, though. <laughs> it's so dumb. Besides that, that's all I listen to. How about you? Uh, same thing over here. There wasn't really much going on because, no. you know, I guess the holiday and stuff like that. Yeah, so. for sure. Uh, there wasn't much going on. What do you think about Survivor Series? Survivor Series um, was the, this past weekend, and uh, <sighs> it was absolutely disappointing. There were a couple of good matches there, but the Undertaker ceremony was awesome, and uh, the tag match was great. And I thought, I thought, I thought Roman and Drew McIntyre was awesome too. Uh yeah, those those pretty much were the marquee matches. The Oscar that, that and, Oscar and like, Sasha wasn't bad either. Yeah, but yeah, like that tag match between the New Day and um, New Day and uh, the four moot matches. <laughs> the, yeah, what a great pick. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? What a fucking uh, Mike made that. I guess yeah. I don't know. Uh, but that tag match, even the revival was giving them love. Which I'm just, yes, I'm still calling them the revival. Fuck, I don't even know what they're called anymore. Right. Um, the FTR, but yo, I popped with that New Day Gears of War outfit though. That shit was hot. I literally popped for that big time. I'm a fan of how uh, how our uh, Street Profits looked that day. They looked good. Yeah, they looked I, really, really good. I'm telling you, they have the potential to be the next great tag team. They yeah, do. they really, they really do. If they stay with them, uh, as I know, people want them to break apart and make Montez lit. No, not right now. Do the, do the Hardy Boys gimmick. Make them last a long time and then break up when once they're both securely okay. Um, Angelo Dawkins is, is built for disaster if he gets separated there. Um, but it was a great matchup between two, both teams. Um, New Day, of course, lost. I predict that last week. Mm-hmm. Um, you got a you got a point there. You uh, you said that um, Sasha was going to win. And she did. Yeah. Um, which I was surprised to see. Um, they had to because she's the new champion. Doesn't hurt Oscar. That's pretty. Looking back now, I should have guessed that. Uh, what do you think? Bobby and Sami Zayn was disappointing as fuck. I think after uh, they complained about not being in the T-shirt, the last day were like, "All right, you guys are going five seconds." Yeah, yeah. I mean, that could have been so much better. And it was. But like when you got like a, a, a sniveling kind of heel as uh, as Sammy is, I mean, what more can you do? Honestly, it, it's 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 him just being the 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 
the runaway kind of guy. That's just you know, it's it's all right, whatever. And I didn't expect it to be fucking barn burning and shit. Right. right, right, absolutely. Um, any any highlights besides that for you? Because like I said, the tag match was my favorite match. I love the championship. Uh, I love um Drew McIntyre and Roman. That was, that was jizz worthy. Um, like the interference with Jay Uso. Like the, those parts were good. But besides that, I really didn't enjoy the. I didn't. I hated the elimination matches. The elim- yeah, the yeah, yeah. Matches well, the, the only elimination I was that I did like the finish of the one uh, on the pre-show. When Miz won and how he won, right? The, the battle royal was cool. The gobbledygooker, which by the way, Booker T called him a gook. Oh, and I know, oh, I, I know, oh. I can't say that. Oh, oh no, 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 no! You're just saying exactly what he I'm said. That's like, what Booker oh, T said. Yeah, yeah, oh, uh, I'm no. quoting him. Yo, yo, he goes, "What's up, gook?" Oh no, no, <laughs> no! Can't can't do that, bro. Uh, <laughs> can't say. And then gobbledygooker tripped on a wire and his foot fell off. Yeah, he was dying from yo, that. Yo, that that was the highlight of the night. I showed my brother. My brother was in tears for like half an hour, bro, straight. Uh, Cause then he he's holding the foot in his hand, and Jerry Lawler was like, "Oh, that's his evil claws." And they're like, "No, <laughs> don't save that, fam. You can't save that, fam. You can't save that. It's Dunzo, fam. Uh, you can't save that, bro." He tried. Uh, he tried. Uh, but um, besides that, that was I thought it was a okay show. I'll give it like two and a half out of five. It, besides, like, I'm telling you, the, the, the tag yeah. match was and the last match was the only one I enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, so what would you give it? Uh, I give it three. It was it, like I said, I was I was somewhat entertained. I, I you don't really expect much these days from Survivor Series because there's really nothing to you know, come out of it. It doesn't matter yeah. much anymore. Nothing it, it, really to come out of it. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh God, someone I'm weak. Someone said I'm gonna tell my kids that Velveteen Dream was Orlando Jordan on TNT and A. Yeah, I saw that. Facts though. Um, yowzers. Um, Next pay per view is TLC, and then people are saying it's going to be Kevin Owens and Roman, which I'm happy about. Um, the Knicks just signed Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Why? Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, uh, they just signed Austin Rivers too. Yes, they did. The the rejects, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, Survivor Series was pretty cool. Um, I'm looking forward to TLC though, way way more. Um, people are saying that um, we're going to get Lana and Nia Jax in a tables match. Oh. And Lana's going to turn the tables literally. On oh, Naya. so um, so they did there. I'm excited for that. Um, are you ready for Monday Night Raw? Sure, let's do it. Monday Night Raw kicked off with Adam Pierce uh, with the Men's Survivor Series team, and this is actually what I I know you were happy about this because the past couple of weeks you were saying the winner the t- the winner should get the whole, the whole team should get some sort of prize. They right. should get a chance at the WWE Championship. They should get a prize at some sort of thing here. Mm-hmm. Um. In my opinion, I th- I feel like they should have done like the battle role they did in TNA with the briefcases. Okay. You claim a briefcase, and then the person who gets the, it gets a the different... feast of fired kind of right, thing. Right, but like no one gets fired. Like it's all everyone wins a prize, but like it's a different prize. Like I don't know. Right. I, I, I hate to state your case. Like I just want a match. I have, to, I have to do this. Like right. fuck you. But M. Pierce makes all the members of Team Raw state their case. Um, and Braun Strowman made his case by grabbing Pierce and screaming that he he, he that he um. That he's the guy and delivered a headbutt to Adam Pierce. Pierce said that it, if it was up to him, he would fire Strowman. Um, are we back to a heel Strowman? Because people said that he turned face last week and now he's fake heel again. Um, no, it's actually he's out because of injury, so that's why he's um, suspended. Well, uh, but do, should we expect the uh, Braun Strowman to come back? Because they're saying, he's yeah, supposed, they're actually saying he's supposed to be supposed to face Drew at, at yeah. TLC. Yeah, so it's it looks like it's gonna be a heel. It's gonna be a quick heel there, um, which uh, the night really annoyed me uh, for multiple reasons. Um, Pierce, um, after talking to Charlie Caruso, he was interrupted by Bobby Lashley, who said that he needed to talk business um, to Adam Pierce about the WWE Championship. Uh, after that, he came out of the locker room saying that Lashley made a compelling case, but was again cut off by Randy Orton, and then he went to go speak to Randy Orton. It's like, okay, how many times are you going to fucking get pulled all the way to the side? Charlie Caruso was probably like, yo, can I fucking finish this interview with you, pa? Um, I mean, honestly. It was later revealed that um, there will be a series of singles matches tonight, uh, that night, uh, with the three winners battling in a triple threat match next week. And I'll tell you one thing, the winners were surprising. They really were. Um, the first match was Matt Riddle versus Sheamus. And um, you would think Sheamus would win, right? Sheamus versus Drew is the story everyone's looking for, right? Mm-hmm. Wrong. Matt Riddle wins. Uh, via pinfall, are you happy with this choice? Yeah, it yeah. It puts a young guy over, right? Yeah, of course. It was a good. It, which, by the way, that made the rounds this week. People were loving their chemistry. People said Riddle and Sheamus work together beautifully, mm-hmm. and that they, they're great partners in the ring. So, um, and I agree. It, uh, it was, it was, it was done right. It was done right. So I'm happy to see that. 
Then we had Keith Lee defeating Bobby Lashley via disqualification after an interference from MVP. Um, of course, as expected, um, it was it was hard hard hitting throughout the entire match. Um, Lee, do you like Keith Lee's new music? Yes. Really? Yeah. He made it himself. He promised you guys new music. Um, listen, he probably he complained to the back management. And they gave him a chance to make his own new song, mm-hmm. and uh, whoever complains now could shut the fuck up because I think it's good. Um, but um, yeah, Lee Lee fought off the hurt lock, and after driving Lashley into the canvas, MVP ran in to make the save. Um, and MVP screws Bobby Lashley out of a WWE Championship match. Is that like a? Is that maybe the first C to be dropped about the her business breaking up? I hope not. No, no way. God, I hope not. Also on Raw this week, we had the New Day defeating her business via pinfall for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Did you enjoy that match? Uh, yeah. I yeah. thought it was good, man. Yeah. But, but I do see a ladder match happening at TLC for those between those two teams. Oh, definitely. And that's gonna be fucking amazing. I can't wait to see that. Um. Uh, then we had the Raw Women's Championship. We had Oscar defeating Lana via disqualification. How the fuck did she win by DQ? <laughs> um, not, a, just like how she won the fucking yeah, yeah. the Survivor Series match. It's it's a mess. It's a yeah. I cannot believe Lana won that shit. Um, but you predicted it. You said Lana's gonna win by some bullshit. You said Told it. You. you said it. Uh, Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler beat up Lana. Um, uh, and then after the match, then Lana was interviewed about being the sole survivor in Survivor Series, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, as Jax was about to, to Samoan drop Asuka through the announce table, Lana made the save, and it seems like then we had a tag team match. We had Asuka and Lana defeating Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler mm-hmm. via pinfall. I hate those three-part segments. Yeah, those... Do you agree it's, on that? No, like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll give a quick example. You would let me know after. It's like they have a singles match, and then their team interferes, and then it becomes a tag team match, and then yeah. more people join, and then it becomes a six man tag. What do you think about those kind of um, three part? It's really segments? just stretching it way too much for for no big payoff. I'm not a fan of that. I really, I don't. It gets boring after yeah. a while, like like instantly, actually. So I'm not happy with that. Um, then we had Alexa Bliss defeating Nikki Cross. My pro- my my favorite moment of the night, actually. Uh, Alexa Bliss cr- um, crying at the end of the match, saying, "I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Help me." Uh, but then gives Sister Abigail to Nikki Cross with a smirk on her face. One, two, three. People are saying Alexa Bliss is doing a better job than Bray Wyatt. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> you know, I looked at the segment. They say she's doing better at his job than he is. I said I, I um, I, I I like the way that this is developing, but I you know I had a conversation with a little bit, and I'm like, it made me kind of believe that for you know for for a moment that maybe Nikki should have been the the um the female to to Bray Wyatt. Right. Right. But you know, she made she made a point. She accent. made a point. Yeah, but she yeah, that's what she made a point. She said the accent would have probably just killed it because her her accent is very right. Thick. And Alexa Bliss is, and believe me, Alexa Chris is, Alexa Bliss uh, Alexa Bliss's gimmick in the past couple of years has been like voodoo doll Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. But I I, I went back and I said, you know what? It, it it fits perfectly for her. But and then the other thing was that um, you 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 see how they beautifying um. Nikki Cross is like they're just right. making her not her. Yeah, exactly. So maybe she's having her own fucking change of bullshit. Who knows? And finally, to close off Raw, we had Randy Orton versus AJ Styles. Red, what do you think about the main event? Oh man, AJ and Randy was great. Yeah, and uh, it's expected though. If you don't get anything better than what you got there, you, yeah, something's wrong. Someone's sick in the ring. Uh, and then you finally get, and then you get the the teaser with uh, uh, the Fiend coming out to distract. Fiend distracts Randy. I think Fiend's a face now, I guess, right? I mean, he's I been know. a face for a while now. It's just weird. It's hard for me to confirm that because it's like, I don't know. Uh, it's yeah, just... he's a face now. Yeah, Fiend distracts Randy. Randy loses from the final. He's going to literally have to sacrifice someone in the middle of the fucking ring, like a live sacrifice for him to sacrifice. be a heel. Sacrifice. Yeah. He's going to have to take one of the fucking puppets and like burn it at a stake or some shit. Like <laughs> but yeah, um, he distracts Randy. Randy gets a phenomenal forearmed. One, two, three. AJ Styles is in the triple threat match. Next week, it's going to be AJ versus Riddle versus Keith Lee. Red, who you got? Oh, man. I it, have... I have um, it got to be Keith Lee. I have AJ Styles. Mm. I have AJ. Mm. Um, I have AJ. They already... They already uh, Maybe they do Keith. Uh, Matt Riddle, I don't think Matt has a chance. Uh, maybe. Maybe. You don't know. Uh, but, yeah, that was Monday Night Raw. I thought it was okay. Um, it was definitely um, most, like, it, it was very few segments, and they were all long. So it got boring after a while, but no problem there. On to AW Dynamite as we had, uh, what do you think about Cody and Taz's opening? Because I thought it was fucking great. Um, 
Cody uh, Ted's coming out complaining how the FTW yeah, championship yeah, isn't you know, legit. Yeah, Cody. but you know what? It's it's once again, I don't know. I, I, it was a little Cody more seems like he's just way too involved in shit. Right. Well, he always is. Uh, you know, he's the yeah, he just man seems of way the too involved in shit. The guy wants to always be. His yeah. voice matters. Um, so Cody comes out after Tess um, going off, saying the FTW championship isn't legit, saying um, this company's rigged. But what, he sounds like Donald Trump a lot, uh, basically. Um, uh, Taz did great this night. I really, you know, the past couple of weeks, maybe even months, I've been like, eh, not really a big Taz fan. Uh, but this week, he actually proved me wrong. Uh, he did a great job. Um, Cody Rhodes coming out saying to stop this and that why is his son training with him? What do you think about those jabs? Like, why is his son training with me? Once again, I really don't like knowing shit like that. I don't. <laughs> it fucking annoys me. And by the way, the son, like the son was outside the ring holding the FTW belt and he looked to nothing like Taz. That's crazy. He's like, I, fuck, he looks like one of the fucking super flight guys, top flight. <laughs> Which, by the way, didn't they get signed? They did. Yeah. Yes, they did. Um, but, uh,. Yeah, um, Taz evening, Taz's evening started off simple enough after that as Will Hobbs squashed Lee Johnson with a falling power Powerhouse slam. Hobbs. Yeah, uh, Powerhouse Hobbs. Um, what do you think about that? Is that? That's a WWE name move, man. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, not, not a big fan of that. What's my first name now? Powerhouse. Power, powerhouse Hobbs, ladies and gentlemen. Not a fan at all. Ladies and gentlemen, my name now is Powerhouse Hobbs. Sounds like a disaster. Mm-hmm. Um... And then Hobbs was issued a new powerhouse moniker, dressed in an orange and black singlet, and used a more methodical style with a mean streak. We have a new version of Will Hobbs. I like it. Um, listen, like I hate the name, but I, give, uh, you know, give the guy some character. What you call it? Uh, throw some sprinkles on him. He'll be all right. Uh, Ross can't call him Willie Hobbs anymore. Why not? Because he's powerhouse now. He's not Willie Hobbs anymore. Fucking kill me. Uh, terrible. Uh, but like I said, Cody comes out. They go Willie back and Hobbs. forth. And then, Taz, and then Taz chokes out Cody. Is that a little too much? No. no I, that I liked. I like to see I like to see um, Taz get a little bit involved like that. Yeah, people online said Cody made it personal by airing Dirty Laundry Public. Uh, and then Taz does the Taz mission. That's pretty cool. There. Um... Which, by the way, quick thing. What do you think about the the next week's show name? It's the worst name in pay-per-view history. It's called Winter is Coming. Oh, it's the playoff fucking um, Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah. How terrible is that? Sounds like an indie name. That's yeah. exactly, that's, it's an indie show name. Yeah, no, it really I, is. Not many fucking... House of Glory presents No, Winter hell no. Is that coming. shit is like BWS or some shit like that or F F T F U Q. Yeah, it's like some shit like that. <laughs> FTWC or some shit like that presents Winter is Coming. I'm done. On your face. Um, what? what do you what do you thought of? Wait, 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 wait! I didn't hear that right, did I? What? So. Yikes! After that, we had Hokkaido Shida and Anna J for the AEW Women's Championship. What do you thought about that? People said that Anna J was impressive. She was slightly. It wasn't really <laughs> that much. Which, by the way, that balloon was real. The the rock balloon that wasn't real, right? It was real. It was real. They actually real, made yeah. a rock balloon. Yeah, it's because it's, it's, it was promoting their the new show, The Young Rock. Oh my God. Hilarious. I know that wins life. I told you that. That, that, that balloon was amazing. But wow. uh, um, it wasn't the best match, but I enjoyed it. It was better than most. And then after that, we have Hikarushita walking away, and Abaddon comes out, licks the belt with some blood. And once again, we get a random championship match. Which, by the way, can you have any build up for these fucking matches? Like, can like... Uh, my thing is this: um, uh, not a good idea to be licking belts these days. Yeah, it's called COVID. Yeah, I think it was, I don't think that would have been a good thing to do. No, 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 no. But okay. Whatever. Um, Which, by the way, no masks around the arena tonight. Why? None. Why? <laughs> None. Why would they? Um, other than that, uh, I, I, I think. Uh, the women's division is terrible. Terrible, it's get, it's, but it's, it's, it's progressing it's, a little it's, bit. It's, it's getting it's, it's getting a little better. What do you think about um, Nyla Rose and Vicky Guerrero's promo this week? Oh uh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was gonna look for it too. It's fucking awful. It's but, not even worth the no, airtime. No, no. Uh, it's not even worth the airtime. But yeah, after that we had Abaddon come out, and I guess we're gonna, get, we're gonna get Abaddon and Sheeta after giving her COVID. Abaddon. Abaddon gave her the COVID lock with that lick of blood. <laughs> Uh, terrible. After that, we had the contract signing between Moxley and Kenny Omega for next week's AEW World Championship match. And, of course, last week Moxley was hurt. This week, this week Moxley hurts Kenny Omega as he assumes that 
Kenny Omega is the person to attack him. He thinks it's 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 he thinks that Kenny Omega attacked Moxley in the back, and um, he pay he gave him some payback this week after um, knocking him out in the middle of the ring, then signing the contract. Are you enjoying Kenny Omega and Moxley right now? Actually, the buildup is getting a little bit better, and We're now getting it, a more when you get the late, you get a little later spin on it soon, which I'm liking. We're getting a more serious Kenny Omega, in my opinion. I hate the broom woman, but uh, besides that, like uh, the broom women, the broom women, but. I hate that aspect, but uh, it, it's working for me. Uh, it's working for me. After that, we had Eddie Kingston cutting a promo backstage, which was, which was awesome. Again, Eddie Kingston with amazing promos, of, as usual. John Moxley interrupts him without saying a word. Kingston shut up and changed his tone. Uh, he denied being the uh, behind the attacks last week, and Kingston implied that Mox knew who did the deed. I love Eddie Kingston. He's, uh, he's 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 gold everywhere he goes. I love Eddie Kingston. The the dude is uh, New York represent man. Uh, much love, much love always. Uh, also on AEW this week, we had Hangman Page defeating John Silver. Um, the Dark Order personally requested this bout. Um, they love his they love Hangman supposedly, and they want to they want to they wanted to face him. Silver came close to winning with a surprise Hurricane Rana pin counter. Are you a fan of John Silver? Uh yes, I've always, everyone I like, loves John Silver. I like the one he was in the He's 80s. so over right now, and he, you know he's good, especially for a guy his size. He's good. People are all over this nutcracker, and he's doing the um he's doing the heavy lifting since um Brody Lee's out on injury, so he's been doing he's been covering well for him. I, I would love to see. He's hurt again. Yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna love to see the 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 collaboration of those minds when they meet up because he's gonna act as though like he's gonna take over the dark order so. right 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 that's a that's, that's cool but that's if, coming of course hangman hits a surprise uh, buckshot larry for the win brainbuster blah 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 um game over there after the match evil uno tried to recruit hangman and he compared the elite to a cult that wouldn't let hangman leave kind of made sense um, I enjoyed it do you see Hangman going to the Dark Order maybe replacing Brody Leaf as that leader spot no nah, I think the the long story is basically he's going to uh, meet Omega for that uh, for the championship right and it's the whole redemption storyline I can see that for sure then we had TH2 defeating Top Flight in a, I thought it was a good tag team match you enjoyed it uh yeah. Top uh, Flight aren't the best though. They they're obviously no. nervous. They're clearly nervous. I'll give them, I'll give them, I'll, I never give I never give these young kids um an opinion on the first or second match. You yeah. got I give them a few weeks to get more nah, comfortable. But they, you know what I'm saying? They they're, they're okay. Like I said, it's just no, it's just it's too much art uh, acrobat shit. Not enough wrestling for me. But it's okay. Uh, That's what they want. Exactly. Know? They want the they want the, the They want the flip it flap. The flip it floop it flip it flip it flip it flip it. They want to do the flip it flop it. Um, but like I said, I I didn't think it was that bad of a match. Um, wish it was a little better, but you can't complain. Uh, you can't complain. Um, are we getting it now? Oh, I can't complain. Are we getting? Me, I, I always can't complain. Oh well, for the most part. Uh. Are we getting now the Rose and Brandy Rhodes? Oh God, no! Are we? No, is it? I think we are. Yeah. Oh God, I thought it was leading to the other chick. That um. Nope. That nope. heifer. Yeah, well, that's coming later, but that heifer. I thought it was going down that avenue. Uh, dude, is anybody really screaming to get a Brandy Rhodes match? Who's really out there trying to no. get this match going? God no, God <laughs> no. Uh, after after that after, after the tag match, we had Chris Jericho and Jake Hager defeating Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian after help with the ring. Which, by the way, we're having a battle royal next week for the ring. Does that mean like the winner takes the ring from Mox from MJF and he loses the gimmick, or like it's a new ring? All right, no, that's a good question. That is a good Cause, question because MGF's in the battle royal, so I'm guessing it, it, the ring's up for grabs. Yeah, that I guess that would be it. MGF, yeah. MGF's probably gonna win by help with the inner circle because he needs that ring. That's a great gimmick for him. It works. Um, the only person that I would else give that ring to is Sean Spears. Uh, besides that, I just wouldn't care. Um, but the inside inner circle was ringside for this match, and um, Jericho hit Chris Redans with a Judas effect, and Hager picked up the pin for the win. Seems like inner circles at their greatest here. Like everyone's strong, everyone's liking each other, everyone's vibing. That will not last. I promise you that. Uh, later in the show, MJF was irate about Kazarian soaking him, um, socking him in the mouth. That led to Jericho to defend the honor of his crew by challenging Kazarian to a match next week. Um, okay, Chris Jericho versus Kazarian next week. You excited? Yeah, Kazarian never fails though. You don't ever really see him in bad matches. That's true. It's just, um, I don't know. Uh, I, I, they've they've now, I guess they've been put into place to be the put over guys. Yeah. So, uh, but other than that, that's you know, that's, that's part of wrestling. 
Absolutely. A few side um, notes here as um, we had a few segments. We had, what do you think about the Miro and the Xbox? Jesus Christ. You know, they killed him. It's over, bro. You know what's bothering me more than anything else is, uh, to be honest with you, listen, I know it's a different day and age and people, you know, you got to come to the realization that people do play video games even if you're a fucking heel. Whatever. But at least play video games in which that would be you know challenging like say you you're playing fucking dark not you know like dark souls or you're saying you're playing like killer instinct like fighting games or some shit like that killer instinct yeah, what a throwback you know what i'm saying like some shit fucking uh, mortal kombat street fighter 5 something i hate that you're fucking you're battling someone over fucking among us right 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 <laughs> some shit like you're that you're an imposter and you're and you're and you're a fucking heel that the oh, whatever man it, 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 He's dead in the water. Hey, that 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 fucking gimmick is over. It's Are you disappointed? Hell yeah! Stupid. Yeah, I agree. Um, you could have easily. Which slid. by the way, the most awkward thing ever. Like, I mean, they randomly start beating each other up, and there's nothing, no hype, nothing. It's just it, it reminded me of an indie show. It was terrible. And even if you didn't really trust his promo cutting and such and such matter, you could have easily put him in with fuck. If you gonna put, if you were gonna put a big guy in Team fucking Taz, Taz you could have put Miro yeah, there easily. That's true. Whatever. Uh, we can book this shit Once again A new company We can still book this shit Yeah exactly We also get Matt Hardy Going on a rant this week Saying that um, He um, uh, About how he survived 2020 And if he could f- Overcome un- Insurmountable odds Then us chumps Should be able to Hand pedestrian Challenges uh, Are we getting uh, Matt Hardy as a heel Like what the fuck uh, <laughs> We don't know anymore In this company no. We don't know who's, We don't know anymore what the fuck are we doing here, ladies and gentlemen? We just don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we doing here? Yeah, don't know Rush about Limbaugh that. Rush Limbaugh is asking, what are we doing in All Elite Wrestling? That's a, that's a good. Uh, we get Darby Allin burning up a car and smashing it into a million pieces. Once again, another one of his artist videos. I know you're over that shit. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Once again, we're dealing with the dark, brooding Darby Allin, who's really f- f- sequestered in a corner somewhere. Wondering whether or not his dad loves him, and wow, and that's mom, real dark. If his mom would stop whoring and come back home and take care of his younger sister and brother, who's been waiting on the sidelines, still eating crackers and mayonnaise, and ca- I'm about to cry. It's like Darby, you're fucking making six figures. You're okay. You can feed everybody. You're not, you're not that sad, bro. Well, you heard his. You heard his good story. You heard his story. What he did the night before he won the belt. I, f- I slept in the car to feel as though I could <laughs> get that feeling again that I, I was on uh, on the road when I was eating uh, Vienna sausages in a can and sleeping in the car and only listening to my iPod because apparently I couldn't pay for gas Phone so service. I had to, s- have to siphon gas out of another car and suck and I couldn't even use a hose in a tank and, a f- and one of those gas tanks so I basically would suck the gasoline in my mouth and then bring it into my car and spit it into the gas tank and go back and forth 300 times until I had at least half a gas tank in my car I'm then done. after I washed my mouth out with grass <laughs> because I, I couldn't afford water or ginger ale and I washed my mouth out with grass I just sat and waited till the morning time for me to feel a lot again so I could get into the next indie show so I could at least get a hot dog and a handshake and tell the fans how much I loved them so I could do the routine over and over again. <laughs> Fuck you, Darby, with this Wow, bullshit. I like Darby, but this is ridiculous now. Okay, bullshit. I want to see you I like wrestle. you, Darby, but cut this shit out, bro. Fucking wrestle. And finally, AEW closed off with Butcher and the Blade defeating Pac and Phoenix. Uh, it was a, I thought it was a good match. I really enjoyed it. I think Butcher and Blade are, are growing on to me. They really, really are. Um, yeah. They're growing on me. Yeah. Eddie Kingston was on commentary, but he rushed to the ring when Pac and Phoenix were on a roll, of course. Kingston knocked Phoenix off the turnbuckles, mm-hmm. and they win by a neckbreaker, powerbomb, teamwork combo move. But the real shocker for this main event segment came in the aftermath. After the Kingston family put the boots to the death triangle, Lance Archer comes out. Kills Eddie Kingston basically and escapes. We have a face Lance Archer. No, among it's us. not. No, it's not. It's just once again poor booking and how to get the two guys who still haven't finished their fucking feud from take a, um from um excuse me take a, from um all out with the fucking battle royal bullshit. They don't know how to fucking tie up that loose end. So what do you do? You do this dumb shit and say, hey, we're gonna finish it out this year. <laughs> Are you happy with AEW right now? I, I, you know, it's just... I'm kind of not. It's just a fucking a, a hullabaloo of bullshit. Wow, what a word. It is. It's just it's just ridiculous way of booking and 
Regardless of what you say, there's no such thing as faces and heels. Regardless yeah. if there's not, there make fucking sense. Yeah, they're not. Make some fucking sense. And they're that, not. And it's not making sense. Lance Archer versus Eddie Kingston. Am I really excited for that? No. I'm not. And they're probably, Lance Archer and they're versus probably, Rusev. And they'll probably tear it up. But exactly, give me that. Like that that makes more well, sense. Hell, give me. me Rusev and fucking uh, and Eddie Kingston. Yeah, that means. Something. Yeah. Miro. Sorry, Miro. Uh, but then we did talk about who attacked... Uh, who attacked uh, John Moxley? Um, who? What do you mean? Uh, uh, someone attacked John Moxley. He was wearing uh, the person was wearing a mask. Oh yeah, yeah. Was, was it, it was revealed? No, but you know, everybody in fucking wrestling world is like, "Oh my god, it's CM Punk! I swear he's gonna make a guy." And it's like, no, it's, it's not. Kenny Omega, dickhead. No, it actually, it's not because uh, said it was Kenny. Uh, said it might be uh, there was Eddie, but I don't think it's Eddie Kingston. It wasn't do that. My guess is it's going to be Kenta. Because wow. it's going to be the bridge that gets New Japan and um, AEW again. Because remember, Moxley, I'd be hyped for that. Moxley still has some business to deal with in New Japan. So I believe that it, it's Kenta. I'm okay because with Because they've that. been teasing some GTS stuff and all that on, on the show. So I think it's Kenta. I'm okay with that. If that happens, thank you, AW. You're doing something right. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's go to NXT as we had Ember Moon versus Candice LeRae in the opening bout. And we had... Uh, Basically, it was a four-on-one handicap match. Uh, Andy Hartwell, Dakota Kai, and Raquel Gonzalez were all lurking ringside for most of the match. Um, it took a lot of cheating for Kenneth to win this time around. You think so? Yeah. It, it, was, <laughs> it was clearly not a, a, a clean win here, of course, mm. as a heel should win. Um, so far, that puts Moon at one and two in the singles matches since returning. And... Um, Becoming an afterthought, in my opinion. But, you know, listen, it's, a, it's wrestling. People win, people lose, it happens. Uh, but uh, after the match, we have Tony Storm coming out to try to help them out, and uh, help Ember Moon out from being a four-on-one handicap. But we get Tony Storm turning heel, joining Candice LeRae's team, and beats up Ember Moon and is now on, like I said, Team uh, team Candice LeRae. What do you think about this? I, once again, another another one of those things like okay, why makes no sense to me, but all right. Uh, they're saying they're, they're saying Tony Storm as a face doesn't make any sense. Why? I, she's attractive to me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, doesn't make any sense, but but I like to see Tony Storm back in NXT, and um, now I'm wondering who the fuck's gonna be on Shotzi Blackheart's team. It's gonna be Shotzi, Ember Moon, Rhea Ripley, and. Blah blah Florida Morgan. I don't fucking know. Who like honestly like Oh no, who's still who's that? Um ooh. Yeah, that yeah. People are reporting that they chose Tony Storm to turn heel because they felt Indy Hartwell was not ready for war games. Ah, uh, okay. I can see that. They weren't ready. I can uh, see that. That she wasn't ready for in ring work at that at that level. So oh, okay. I can kinda see that though. She doesn't look ready. Uh, but I guess they see something in her for to give her some hope for the future. But it, okay, all right, <laughs> uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, what else happened on NXT this week? Uh, we had um, Kevin Owens on commentary. You enjoy Kevin Owens on commentary? I don't. You don't? You're not a fan of it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as good as Samoa Joe, man. Because all he does is joke around. I love Kevin Owens, but all he does is fucking joke around. Be a little serious. I like Kevin. I think he's going to one day have a job doing that. But, um, well, he kind of reminds me when, when Punk used to do it. So it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of the same thing for me. Right. Kevin Owens hosted the KO show this week while um, Leon Ruff was the go- was the, was the guest, uh, a special guest. And right. um, it was interrupted by Johnny Gargano. We saw Kevin Owens saying, oh, uh, don't say someone's name because they'll be here in five, four, three. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Or you think it was a little too corny? Like, oh, predicting what's what happened. This is what happens in wrestling corny. But it's true, giving. though. But that, you see, that is, do you know why you say that? Is because then. You're ripping it, your own business. You, no, but not only that, it, it changes the narrative. Now you could do something different. It doesn't have to be that. Right. You can always flip it some other way. But, um. Yeah, I, I, it it it, it kind of it kind of changes them up and make them makes makes them try to do something different. Uh, segment had its great moments. Kevin Owens exposing the 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 tropes with these talk shows, like I said, and uh, um, the trope, the trope. Uh, but we get an announcement by William Regal that it'll be Leon Ruff versus Damian Priest versus Johnny Gargano in a triple threat match at War Games. Do we, are you are they really having faith in this Leon Ruff kid? Uh, yeah. Or is he just a filler? They, they, they think they picked him out of a hat. They really do see something in him. 
Well, he's gonna be the the one that kind of transitions off back to um. He'll be in two or five live or something like that. But um, they also find that he's entertaining, and um, he's the fodder that helps between this um, Gargano Damian Priest match. And believe me, if I don't see Damian Priest in the Royal Rumble this year, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. And I'll be disappointed. Yeah, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I think he he definitely will be. I think um, you know his slow transitions getting there. I think he's gonna get there one day soon. I I, I see great things for Damian Priest. Up next we have Kushida versus Timothy Thatcher, and Kushida made Timothy Thatcher, the submission specialist, tap out. They're really loving Kushida, man. Yeah, I was surprised that he actually won that match too. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa was watching at ringside, but Timothy Thatcher tapped out to Kushida. Let me say that one more time for everyone to understand this. Timothy Thatcher tapped out. That's yeah. something that you don't see. Ever, um, indies, wherever the fuck it is, you don't see that happen, and it's amazing, amazing victory for Kushida. Kushida. Um, I'm just at this point, I think it's almost a lock that Kushida will be Finn Balor's next challenger, right? Oh yeah. Let's just say that we're gonna get Kushida and Finn Balor as the as the NXT Championship match coming soon. I think mm-hmm. in War Games, uh, which I, I can't wait for. All oh, the rest. Let's talk about the rest of NXT. Boa and Zia Lee. What do you thought about that stuff? The the segment with Boa and Zia. I'm I'm slightly captivated. Woman. Yeah yeah. I'm slightly you, you, captivated. You, 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 tell the audience. Tell the listeners what that was about because I'm fucking confused with that shit. And basically leading. It's it's going to go into another stable uh, there that they're trying to open up. Right. Um, another I, I no 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 that was in the Gargano, the Gargano one, but it's basically leading up to another opening for the Asian uh, demo uh, demo. So, um, let's see, you know to me, let's just see what happens with it because Boa, I've never I, I've never seen who what the fuck he does. And uh, and and Lee, she's actually pretty good. It's just like she's a little bit green. She still because she's hurt a couple of people in the past. Right. But I I think that that could be rectified. So I I I, I kind of I I just don't want it to be fucking stereotypical as they always right. are. But it's already looking like it's going that way, huh? Basically. Yeah. Basically. Which, by the way, I want to make a quick uh, side note here. Fuck you, WWE, because you put Ricochet and Jeff Hardy on main event. Uh, somebody got to do the rounds. That match is pay per view shit WrestleMania worthy. Mm. And you're telling me you put that on main event? Fuck you. Um, also on NXT this week after that Boa and Zia Lee shit, um, we had the Cameron we had Cameron Grimes defeating Jake Atlas without too much struggle. Uh, after the victory, Dexter Loomis slinked up behind Grimes and proposed in his own unique way a strap match. Why? Why? Where that is match the... will take place at NXT Takeover. I'll be the first one to say it on this show. <sighs> End Cameron Grimes and Dexter Loomis now. Why? I'm over it. Why? Why are they doing? They they're throwing any gimmick matches to them. Anything. Well, this is their Tom and Jerry kind of feud. This is like the cat and the mouse. The fucking um. This is like their 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 their, their comedy skit. Yeah, it, it's and that's and that's exactly what it is. It's become, hey, whatever gimmick match we could throw them in, let's put them in it. It's hey, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me, and I think they could be doing it way different. Mm-hmm. Uh, before a match that ever I was supposed to have, the worst tag team in WWE, the grizzled young vets returned and beat them up, and um, uh. Basically, when the pandemic hit, they've gotten all the UK wrestlers because Jordan Devlin's on NXT as well. <laughs> uh, which is, I gr- listen, NXT UK shouldn't be taken seriously. It should be their, it should be their, their development for WWE for NXT. Right. Um, it's a good way to build up characters. Shit. Um, and finally, we had the main event, which was um, um, the ladder match. The ladder match between Kyle O'Reilly and um, Pete Dunne, which Bro, the stage is yours. This is your boo. This the match was great, but I want you to talk about it because Pete Dunne did win. Um, he looks fucking in the best shape of his life. He does. He actually looks really go good. Ahead, go ahead. He looks actually leaner uh, than he he did before the 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 um, the pandemic. Um, these guys fucking. They, I'm telling you, they leave nothing in the ring when when O'Reilly and Dunne are in there. Yeah. No. Um, it was a great main event. And as always, it's just it, it's it's. It sucks with NXT because you have to build, you have to go through a drudgery of right. shit to find a diamond. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And and, Kyle O'Reilly's a diamond, man. And good, um, uh, good dad Angel even said it, it, that match. He says, "Yo, give me more of that shit," and Absolutely. that's what we need to see more of. And yep, both those men and 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 
wrestlers in the, in general, matches like that in general. So um, good to see Pete Dunn back. He looks he looks really good. He looks in shape, like we mentioned earlier. And Kyle O'Reilly, after what he sustained with Finn Balor, looked like he didn't miss a step. So it was, that was a great match. That's very much in high regards. So you guys should take a look at that match. And I love how the two teams were like waiting on the platforms, right. like watching over. Like they do things. They NXT is doing some is doing most things right. Mm-hmm. Uh, on that aspect, it's wrestling. Yeah. And, uh, anything on, on Impact and Ring of Honor before we go to we close off with SmackDown? Oh yes, Impact had the return of AJ Styles. Oh, he, not really. <laughs> not really. No. I did enjoy listening to the "Get Ready to Fly" song again. <laughs> That's I love that song. You are, you are, uh, swoggle, swoggle. But um, the return of AJ Styles is that actually, copyright? AJ Swoggle. Isn't that copyright? What? They used his fucking logo, phenomenal. That A the P one, phenomenal one. Yeah, they probably just like he probably gave him permission to use it. It's all right. I guess. He doesn't care. It's, uh, co- it's copyrighted by him. That's not WWE shit. Am, am, I, am, I, am I the only people who hate Carl Anderson and, and Luke Gallows now? No, I, I I like him, but it's it's another one. They're really things. petty bitches, yo. Yeah, but you know what's the other thing too is like once again, everybody gotta have to be a comedian. Exactly. Ethan right. Page took a, takes an L by roll up on Swoggle. <laughs> AJ Swaggle. I'm done. Swaggle one. Yeah, Get Swaggle the one. Fuck out of here. Uh, what was the other thing I was looking at? Um, NXT UK. They finished off their their um, Heritage Cup. The winner became well, it was um, a kid. I saw the highlights of it. It's a great match. They went into o- overtime. Awesome. Uh, he beats Tread Seven by uh, by submission, and that. Cup will be defended as a belt as a wow, championship. Wow, very so nice. So anytime that day you um, you battle uh, a kid, it's under For the those cup. rules. Yes, on those old, old really school like world that. of sport rules. I yeah. really like that. Yeah, that's a it's a good spin on what they're doing there. That so, makes me happy. It's really cool. And uh, other than that, um, MLW may, is making uh, made its comeback this week, I believe. Right, uh, I gotta check that out as well as. There's still talk of NWA making a comeback, but it's under. It's not gonna be NWA Power. I forgot the name. It's something else different. But They're doing a whole redo, huh? Yeah, yeah. And um, so it's not. Everybody's everybody's not jumping shit uh, yet, ladies and gentlemen. So guess other not. Than that, we're uh, leading up to Smart Friday Night SmackDown. Yo, let's do it. SmackDown opened up with Jay Uso with an in-ring promo saying the only thing anyone should be talking about after Survivor Series is Roman Reigns' win over Drew McIntyre. Which, by the way, I told you Raw was going to win that Survivor Series. I told you. Raw, Raw, Raw won? Yeah. Raw won um, 4-3, wasn't it? Wait, hold on. Uh, I never. I didn't even do this yet. Let's go over it. So. Okay, remember, Miz's team won. The Battle Royal. It wasn't even a team. It was just the Battle Royal. Right, but so Miz won. That's Raw. 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 Um, the, uh, Raw swept SmackDown with AJ and all of them. Two. Um... um Street Profits beat New Day. That's, so that's uh, SmackDown. One, two one. Two one. Uh, um, Sasha beat Oscar. Oscar. That's two two. That's two two. Um, Bobby Lashley beat Sami Zayn. So that's, that's three, three two. two. Um, the the women's battle royal, uh, the women's um Survivor Series Raw one. That's four. Four two, and then um, Roman won. Roman beat Drew. So that's four three. Four three. So Raw one. Raw did win. Yeah, I told you. Uh, Raw one, and um. That's what Jay Uso wanted to to, to to hype up, but then of course um, Roman Reigns comes out and says that he told him to leave after Uso and Team SmackDown were swept in the men's elimination match. Then said he did not ask for help beating McIntyre in the main event. Reigns blamed Uso for not controlling his team and said that Uso's losses were making the locker room look at his family as failures. Um, basically saying he needs to step up. Otis comes out for a, uh, a scheduled match and Uso beats the shit out of him with a chair and returns to ringside to attack Otis and it, it, it and tries to prove to Roman that he wants to be in the family table. What do you think about this Roman Reigns so far? What do you think about his attitude? Do you think about him walking down the ring? I think he exudes heel. Of course. It's a winner. He's a he's a home run. Of course. And I, and I tagged you on something on Facebook and I think it's a, it's a good discussion for next week. You said that you said WWE isn't making stars. I'm wrong. I think Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre are the the, the 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 biggest stars since John Cena and Batista, bro. But that's not even saying no. Not that you're saying way too much because it's getting there though. Roman, Roman Reigns is getting there. Roman is getting there. Drew needs a lot more um a lot more marinating, and I think Drew could get there with an audience. But Roman, Roman was Roman's, Roman's Roman's because there. it's taking way too long. It took way too long because of how they yeah, booked it for the longest time. True, but 
It's you know, like a, but Batista kind of took a while being an evolution and everything like that, and the fucking Deacon Batista and shit like that. So it, 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 it he took a little while yeah, as well. But once again, it has to be that. It has to be. I that. think Roman is like the heel man. Okay? You have to get the the finger on the pulse, in which it's it's basically um how they they're they're gonna promote him universally, not only in WWE but outside of and it. It could be done. It's great. Him yeah. and Paul Heyman are great right yeah. now. It's working. It fucking is amazing. Which by the way, they 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 dropped the ball. I would have bought the head of the table shirt for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and, yeah. they, and they didn't fucking have it in time. So fuck you guys. Um but after that segment, we had Sami Zayn defeating Daniel Bryan via countout. Uh, Bryan was interviewed earlier in the night discussing his feelings about Zayn. Um, what do you thought about this match? I know we're going to get another one soon. We we'll probably will get this match in a ladder match or a or a chairs match or whatever the deal is But um, at TLC. But um, um, Uso attacked Daniel Bryan until Owens made the save after. Uh, like I said, we're going to get Kevin Owens and Roman at TLC. Mm-hmm. Uh uh, and that's it. That's basically it. Um, excuse me. Also on SmackDown, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode defeated the Street Profits via pinfall. Good match. It makes Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode have a chance of the tag titles at a later show, probably TLC. Bianca Belair defeats Natalia via pinfall, beating the veteran. It's a great, great way to build her up. Bailey was on commentary and got involved in a shouting match with Belair. Bailey versus Belair. I'm in. Oh yeah, that's it. Let's I'm get in. it going. Uh, this is this is her this is her steps to get to that that women's championship, man. Let's get it. Absolutely, a hundred percent. Sasha Banks attacked Carmella after a promo. Carmella discussed her recent attack of Sasha Banks before ending with a snap. And um, Sasha Banks comes and beats the shit out of Carmella, and the officials had to separate the pair. Banks and Carmella will be at TLC. That's my prediction. Uh, Sami Zayn was on his way to be interview- interviewed when Big E made fun of Sami Zayn's run with the Intercontinental Championship. They go back and forth, and um, Biggie versus Biggie is IC champ. You know, I think it's too soon. Uh, I I really need to see more from Biggie. I, I do too. Yeah, this is we've been waiting for too long for this to happen. Let's get it going. Absolutely. Also on um, SmackDown, we had Murphy defeating King Corbin via pinfall. Murphy, of course, with Aaliyah and his whole Mysterio family. He's been on a roll and he picks up the win here with a quick, quick match. Um, Corbin demanded a rematch for next week, saying he will be ready. But of course, Murphy wins um, well, by the help of Dominic and the Mysterio family. Well, how long is this going to last? Oh, God. I really hope we don't get a wedding. Oh, God. It's, I, I can't. And, and when, if, they do, if there is a wedding, it means that fucking um, Seth comes back in time to disrupt it and shit like that. Oh, God. I hope so. Uh, I hope so. This thing is fucking. This, this, thing, this thing is so predictable. And finally, we have Kevin Owens defeating Jay Uso via disqualification after Uso used a steel chair. Owens would confront Reigns and Uso backstage, telling Reigns that for someone who insists family is so important, he sure treats his family like crap. Reigns told Uso to fix the fact that Owens does not look at the Universal Champion with fear, and they had a great match. I thought it was my favorite match of the night, to be honest with you. It ended with a DQ, and it ended with Kevin Owens beating the shit out of Jay Uso and staring into the screen saying, Roman, are you watching? Um, sending a direct message to Roman Reigns as Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns will be our next championship pro- program to close off SmackDown, and um, and that's the and that's the Kevin Owens I love to see. I love to see it, yeah. And he, I'm telling you, I need more aggression out of him. I don't, I hate well, these that funny. The, I hate this funny shit with him. Well, that and get the fact, serious. That and the fact is that you can't go wrong with Kevin. You put him in any program. He'll and be, he, uh, yeah, and he's, 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 he's reliable. Yeah, he's so lit. And you keep, you keep dangling him at these fucking mid-card bullshit when he's a main event guy, especially yep, he's fucking, so reliable, bro. Hell yeah. Even if, even if he doesn't get the, the grand prize, he's still fun when he's in that hunt. It's always yeah. fun to have Owens because once he lights up and you give him the mic and he, the, the, the passion and, and and his his intensity kicks up. It's nothing but fucking literally the Kevin Owens show. I mean seriously. So yeah, I I'm, I'm great. I'm 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 glad that they're doing this for him. That he's in this in this in this this um this picture right now for sure. So uh, guys, that's what we watched in wrestling this week. That was our around the squared circle. Uh, Red, who is your superstar of the week? Superstar of the week for me has to be the Undertaker. Dear Lord, good Lord, that um. That uh, that 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 goodbye that they did for him in Survivor Series, I thought should have been much better. But um, 
it was a, a, a nice send off for him and I just wish that there was more people there that they wish the crowd was there so my, my MVP will go to The Undertaker Absolutely, and my MVP this week will be Kushida in a great match against Timothy Thatcher. He made the dude fucking tap out. Hearing that is like hearing me hitting Lotto. Um, great, great, great win there. And I think Kushida uh, went from an afterthought to uh, a future NXT champion. Although I did want to give it to AJ Swaggle, though. but I AJ couldn't, fucking Swaggle. I couldn't give it to him. So, yes. So that'll wrap us up here and get vocal, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed this episode as well. Make sure you check us out on all the social media outlets. Check us out on the like group pages on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Twitter as well as on YouTube. Episodes are going up every week now. We said, fuck it. Subscriptions is actually going up. People are actually subscribing. Wow, Happy okay. And also uh, download, share, and subscribe to us at any podcasting outlets for Turbuckle Tabloid. Numbers are going up as well. Ever since we split the shows into two, we're doing two a week. You guys have been uh, uh, following and streaming as well. So thank you guys for partaking in that. Numbers have gone up like about 25-30% doing that shit. So it's it's pretty awesome. You love to see it. Thank you, thank you. And for everything else, hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving this past weekend. And uh, please be safe. And like we mentioned before, I'm very thankful for you guys for listening to Turnbuckle Tabloid. Wash your ass. And thankful for you guys. Be safe. Cover your fucking face. Wear a fucking mask. And take a bump, ladies and gentlemen. We are out of here. Laters. Turnbuckle Tabloid. Three, two, one. Tabloid.